Tom B. There's a reason I've been ignoring your calls. You were right. I've been bootlegging the stream. I have millions of my own subscribers. Every single week when you upload, I upload. We're growing this channel. It's getting so big, Tom. So big. I'm making so much money ripping off Perry. And you know what? I don't care. Because I'm Sam from Twitch. Start my own service. That's all I gotta say about that. Let me see. And this time I'm gonna drive myself to the nut house and say, Hank off me, drop me up in uh, 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 a straitjacket, and lock me in a padded cell because I'm going out of my mind. Good morning and welcome to another edition of Perry Curbo Live, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, let me cover that. I'm Perry Carabello. <clears throat> I'm wearing a diaper, okay? So, yeah, you saw a big... Never mind. Um, you just saw Sam from Twitch showing that he's bootlegging our stream. Uh, that MF better not be bootlegging my stream because I'm going to start... I'm going to have to file a lawsuit against that son of a bitch. If he's uh, robbing us. Tom, if Sam from Twitch is robbing us, we are filing a lawsuit against Sam from Twitch. That son of a bitch. Stealing stealing from us. That's absolutely wrong. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm tired of being hacked, bootlegged, robbed. I'm sick and tired of it. I'm effing tired of it. Anyway, again, this is Perry Curvo live. I've well, got Perry, a few. Bef before you move on from that, I do, I do have a quick update. After all the crap that we had to go through updating the computers? No, not that kind update? of update. Now what? So I did reach out and I did get a call back from Sam from Twitcho. And okay. he Twitch said. <laughs> He's going to be in town on Monday, and he would like to come by to talk to you about it. So I think we got to hear him out. Come by your place or come by my place? Your place. When I say in town, I mean in your town. Okay. So can I give the green light for him to stop by on Monday? That means Monday night? It means Monday when we're on the air, yes. Okay. So I'll ask again since okay. I can't get a straight answer out of you. Yes. I said yes. Okay. So Monday, this Monday, Sam from Twitcho is going to stop by and Twitch, we're going to get to the Twitch bottom of this. It's not Twitcho. It's Twitch. Well, he's from Twitcho, formerly of Twitch. He's from Twitcho. Oh, so he's adding the letter O? Yeah, and he also started a uh, Patreono, which I'm really pissed off about. So we had a lot to talk about on uh, on Monday. Uh -oh. This guy's this guy's taking money out of your uh, pockets left and right. Yeah, he's robbing us. So then it's gonna be Perry Caravello, Perry Caravello, ha ha, instead of O. Oh. Between behind Twitch O, or 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 uh, Patreon O, it's going to be Twitch ha ha or Patreon ha ha. Freaking bank robber! Tired of the BS, screwing us over. So, so he wants to make extra dough by screwing people. That's not cool. Not cool at all. All right. <clears throat> um, I had uh, I, I had a uh, uh, a little thing on on the internet earlier in the week that I saw about. 
some some people uh, coming coming on to jerk us around, and then there's this little kid dressing up like like the uh, cart narc and uh, for Halloween. Um, this 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 little boy. I mean, I love the little boy and everything. Wait, but are you, you talking know, about Teddy? Is, yeah, there's no reason for this little guy to be dressing up like the cart narc. <laughs> I just Halloween. showed. Okay, I just showed that to you, Perry. I didn't want to do that on. What's the problem? Okay, so let me just explain. Uh, So Teddy dressed up as the Cartonark for Halloween. He's a big fan of the Cartonark, and uh, Perry obviously took exception to that. So your 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 little boy Teddy is a fan of the Cartonark. Why would he be a fan of the Cartonark? He's my. He watches a lot of YouTube, and that's one of the channels that he likes. Whatever. Well, okay. Well, okay. Well, since you brought it, I, I was showing as we were setting up. I we talked about how old we, is he? Like five? He's what six. does he know? He just turned six. Okay, now he's six. What what what, what, what does he know? All right, about, okay, listen here. The here. partner. I don't normally me. do this. I don't normally do this. I'll pull up a picture. Okay, hold on a second. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, Teddy, my I'm Teddy, went. As the cart narc for Halloween uh, this year, because he uh, he like he likes the cart narc. He's he's met uh, the cart narc, and uh, he, he... he even met the cart narc. Yes. What does this freaking guy travel around the country or something? Yes, he does. Uh, hold on a second. Are you there serious? You gonna tell me that's not cute? He's got that. That's him going to yeah, school. He's a cute the... kid and all, but and, and looks 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 cute and everything. Well, he's got gloves on too. He's got the, uh, you know, the gloves with no fingers. Those are mittens. They're not gloves with no fingers. Let me see if I have another one. Yeah, he was very excited. And, of course, uh, Perry and I were talking about it, and he was like, why, oh, why? (laughs) So, uh, and this is him at his school parade. He's got the Cartonark shirt on, the Cartonark hat. God. And uh, Help. let's see. I think... Help. Well, you could talk to him at your leisure. And then uh, we Help. had to go get some last minute candy. So, of course, he took the opportunity to do uh, a little pose. Last minute candy. So you guys can be all revved up for, for the stupid holiday Halloween. Anyway. Uh... Oh, and then I have a video. <clears throat> Hold on a second. What? What's the O about? Yeah. Anyway, Perry, I was just, uh, you asked, I told you, no, no reason to uh, be right. upset about it. All right. But check this okay. out. Tell me, tell me, tell me he's not a junior agent in the making. Check this out. Hey, lazy hey. boy, that's not where the car goes. I'll do good as a grocery clerk. He's like to push cars. Hey, lazy boy, that's where the car goes. He even had his own lazy bones. And by the way, I'll tell you, I'll tell you the truth. Uh, so we were there, and there was a, a an older guy in the parking lot, and he asked he asked Teddy who he was for Halloween because he didn't know who we, who he was, and, uh, and then we explained it to the guy. And he goes, "Oh, I guess I should take my cart back." So he shamed the guy into taking his cart back. So anyway, he was very, even though uh, Ted, uh, Perry funny. does not That's approve. Kind of funny. Uh, Teddy was very happy with it, and he had a great Halloween. I hope everybody that's else cute. had a great, nar- uh, great Halloween, that's too. Cute. Yeah, that's cute. I'm give me two thumbs up for that one. Okay. So you can have your own conversation with Teddy, but don't ruin his vibe. Don't, no! don't come down on no! it too hard. Do you mind if I uh, get no, I do mind. This? I do mind. I do mind. He, Perry's desperate to open up this letter from Gina for the past few days. He finally remembered to go to the... Uh, post office this uh, week well while we're on the subject of I halloween remember. i go every monday and thursday no you didn't go at all last week i didn't go last week right okay which is why i brought up that you went this week but let me just tell you perry i've had a long week you turned my brain into mashed potatoes on monday because of how uh checked out you were so please okay um wake up 
And by the way, sometimes Perry, when we're when we're getting set up, like I show you stuff like just between you and I, right. you know, like I, I didn't need you to go into a whole thing on the air about it, but that's fine. I don't mind. Um, what what did you I do on Halloween, Perry? My whole thing on the air. What did you go for? What did you do for Halloween? I Halloween. Robin and I went went out for a meal. And then we went home. Um, that's basically it. Yeah, she's, you know, like family, so I hung out with family. And, well, you uh, called me. You were somewhere. Where did you go? You went out to eat or something? Yeah, up, up in Porter Ranch. Well, you're such a great storyteller, Perry. I'm obviously asking well, you to get right. a little more detail than that. There, I, I forget the restaurant we, we went to, um, but there, there's a bunch of bunch of stores and uh, about a half a dozen, you know, nice restaurants over there on Porter Ranch, over near the uh, theater and Ralph's Market and stuff. And like I said, I forgot the restaurant that we went to because uh, her and I go to like two or three different restaurants over there, and uh, we we kind of hung out for the evening. And you know, had a had a nice relaxing uh, dinner, and just sat and talked. Talked about Mark and what's going on with uh, Mark up in uh, Washington. Do not State. blow up Mark's spot, please. Do not get into that. What do you mean? By I, blow I, I up mean, Mark's don't spot? get into his personal things. He doesn't want to talk about. Well, um, because Mark was living with Robin and Mark, hey Perry, Mark. I just said don't talk about it. Okay, sorry. So, any other personal things you want to bring up uh, so far in the first uh, ten minutes of the show? That I have been going, I haven't been doing. Well, I haven't been doing anything lately. Uh, I, I, the only thing I think personal would be this, that down. Uh, this little Put letter. That, put that down. Uh, what was the other? What was the thing that you wanted me to start with uh, on the stream today? You said I, I want to. Well, I'll just say because you're never going to remember. Uh, Perry has a pair of shorts that he uh, is desperate Why to add to our stuff? auction. Oh, yeah, I, I uh, because because of this little hole in the shorts is the reason why I want to sell them. That's all. So you want to sell shirts, a short pair of shorts that you've worn, likely urinated on, and God knows what else. Oh, please! That has a hole in them. How much are you looking to get for these? You tell me, I. What? What would you be selling you shorts? What, what's the price? Well, I got bad news for you. The auction's over. The auction ended Tuesday at midnight okay. your time. Fine. Thank I'm you. To, thank you to sell. everybody. By the way, if somebody wants those shorts, uh, you know, uh, write in. But. Uh, Throw them in the in the uh, in the uh, goodwill box. No, no one's gonna take ripped. Oh, maybe. I don't know. Uh, normally I you said don't put... the Goodwill box, so they go to the Goodwill. Uh, but anyway, uh, every, thank you for everybody who participated in the auction. Uh, auction items went, uh, some in some cases, way above estimate, estimate the estimated numbers. Sorry, I'm a little brain dead today because uh, I started work at 6, and then we had all these uh, tech issues starting up. Good <clears> shot, <throat> Perry. Can't even throw a pair of shorts without falling over. Um, but thank you, uh, and we'll be in touch with all the winners and everything. We got to get everything uh, collected. But uh, thanks for everybody who participated in the uh, PCL auction, and we'll obviously have other ones in the future. Uh, but okay, Perry, look, since you're so desperate to get to that letter, the floor is yours. Thank you. All right. So uh, I I don't know how she got. Perry Caravelle alive over the the date in the um the, the 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 stamping or wait no over here the stamping by the postal company you know by post, U.S. postal they'll stamp over the over the U.S. stamp right over here in the corner I don't know how she got this little sticker on top of the 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 date and stuff. 
And then she's got her name in the in the other corner over here. But uh, okay, so I will open the envelope. Let's see what we have inside. She's got a picture of me or someone that looks like me. Uh, make sure none of these are nude. I don't know nude, where she got this. Make sure none of these are nude, by the way. Right. I don't know where she got this or who would send this to her. But uh, there's that one. Okay. Whoever photoshops this is doing a very good job in the Photoshop doing this. Okay? Very good Photoshop job. I would never look this heavy. Well, that that not not this photo, but I'll show you the picture that I'm talking about. This photo. That picture. I don't look like this, nor would I ever look like this. And why she put this guy in here is why it goes in the trash. And then there's a little letter from Dio Brando. Perry, Dio Brando, I'm working on getting you that uh, Pampers Diaper Sponsorship. I told you about big money, big money to come. In the meantime, here, here are more photos uh, for you to autograph and sell to your fans. Sign your poopy crotch. I'm not signing these pictures and selling and, and giving them away or, sign, or trying to sell them. Sign next to your feet. Uh, you're, uh, they're gross. Sign between your legs. Write the word real. Sign the, the sky. You're, you're beautiful in this one. Uh, number 11, sign your crotch. No, I'm not signing any of these. Hell no. Sign Randy's belly button. I'm not signing this shit. Close your eyes and pretend you're, you're playing with it. With love, deal, Brandon. Dude. I'm not signing any of these stupid pictures. They're all going in the goddamn trash. Because they're not real. They're all Photoshop. Bullshit. Here. Because they're not real and they're all Photoshop. Okay. Bitch. Is that a bummer? Because that was the, that was the letter he was excited to read the most. Yeah, deal, Brando. Uh, why don't you get uh, one of those big boxes, and then we'll take a break from mailbag for a while. The the white one, maybe. The big, the, yeah, the the. This effing thing! I have no. It's heavy as shit. Where did that knife go? There you are. Ugh. 
An alternator. Look at this. Oh, Christ. Car parts. I don't know what the fuck. I stole this from a Hamas. Look, look, look at this garbage. It's a fucking car starter. Son of a bitch. Here's what it says on this car part. Help. I stole this from a Hamas uh, warlord's Kia, and now they have sent assassins to find it. Please. What? Hey, Perry, the camera's over here, if you wouldn't mind reading. Hold on. Please hide this baby. Gina, are you fucking kidding me? Lie, 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 lie. Hold on. Oh, Christ. Here's what it is. Oh. I can't, I can't take this anymore. I just can't take this shit anymore. Un unbelievable. Okay, un freaking believable. Okay. Then some moron sends me uh, a stupid DiGiorno box with with my name on it, saying that I sent it to myself. What a fucking moron. Well, can, hey, hey, can you open it up, Perry? So just racing. There's nothing inside. How do you know? There's nothing inside. How do it's you an know? empty box. How do you know? Eh. How do I By know? Then, what are you what are you gonna do with that car part? It goes in the trash. Why wouldn't you use it? Use it how? I don't drive a fucking Kia. Stupid ass. Alright, we're gonna take a break. Take a break. Take a break from mailbag. Come over here. Uh, why wouldn't I use it? <laughs> well, I, I, I didn't know. Anyway, listen, we had a little um, uh, stream troubles uh, earlier, which is why. By the way, Perry, do not give me a hard time today about the length of the stream. Uh, because we, we did started start an hour late. An hour late, okay. So uh, you did have one super chat come in on the previous stream. Uh, and uh, thanks to uh, Jim for grabbing this. So if you wouldn't mind reading this, it's not in the usual format that it is because we lost that, but you can still see it. See what? Okay. okay. Big thanks to Jim for all he does, and especially with the auction. Let's see, he helped me so much with my flag that I won. I uh, love to jam as and as always. Love to Perry, Tom, and Bob Levy. Okay. 
Yeah, he'll probably be doing okay. Better stop smoking before he gets over here because he's not allowed in my home if he's got a cigarette in his hand. No cigarettes are allowed in my house. No smoking's allowed in my house. Out of the question, over and out. So what else do we have going on? I, 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 can I read something or? Is, yeah, give me a second, Barry. I'm obviously I, I'm having a problem with the. Having uh, a problem over there. Yeah, obviously there were uh, tech issues here. When it rains, it pours. So I'm just trying to reload these. Uh, Hardcore. Things here. Let me try this. The. Uh, Tip comments aren't playing as they uh, normally do, so I just got to reconfigure everything. Why don't you open another piece of mail while I do this? All right. Let me go through some of this shit here. And this too. No, open this fucking. By the way, Perry, uh, I asked you the other day. I guess you forgot. You got to char you got to charge the uh, ring camera outside tonight when we get done with this. Okay. Okay. Simone Biles sent this. Uh, Thing of Hershey's chocolate syrup. Baby. Did you know that did you know that in my town we have trick-or-treaters, a free free glass of chocolate syrup? Free glass? I'm not drinking chocolate syrup. Are you crazy? When they arrive at at our door, here's a big here's a big jug for you to drink yourself and to give it to Cute kids, love your love your cock from Simone Biles. Simone, I'm not drinking chocolate syrup. I'm sorry. I don't drink chocolate syrup. It's not going to happen. Okay, so where are you putting that, Perry? I don't know. I've got a fucking, I've got a thing of chocolate syrup over there as is. Well, are you going to keep it? <sighs> trash. No, not trash. What did we agree to do with non-perishable food? It, it goes to uh, it goes to the uh, church on right, the corner. So why is your first instinct to throw it in the trash? It's trash. Everything's trash. No, we I just said it. it's not trash. I said I said it's trash. I mean, okay, okay, hold on a second. It'll go to the folks at the. Uh, okay. At, at, at the. Uh, I need to church. test something out here, Perry, and I need your attention to do it. Okay. When you're done, okay. You can break down this box later. I need okay. your full attention, please. See. I want to see if this pops up. No, it's not popping up. Damn. You've been belching all day. What what is going on? My stomach. Hmm. Drinking coffee. Let me see something here. Hang on one second. All day? No, no. You mean all morning?
All right, Perry, think of something to talk about rather than staring at the screen. Um, like, I have to, uh, I have to fix something oh. behind the scenes. Well, uh, uh, the surf has been uh, mediocre right now. I haven't uh, been out there lately. I'm going. I'm planning on going out there over the weekend. Maybe grab some waves. Um, eh. <clears throat> I don't know the. I, where I haven't been in years that I want to go back to is the Wedge in Newport Beach, uh, and and maybe do a little boogie boarding over at the Wedge. Um, water temperature is not bad, you know, in, in the upper fifties, low sixties. So uh, eh. maybe I should get a wetsuit. It would be smart for me to get a wetsuit, but I mean I'm getting old now, so uh, I'll be boogie boarding for maybe another five or ten years. If 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 fifteen years happens, that'll be cool. I'm boogie boarding by the age of seventy five. That'll be that'll be cool. Uh, <laughs> um, I don't know. So I don't know. So I I I gotta see what goes on. I I uh, spoke to an old girlfriend that I haven't talked to in quite a while, and uh, she's doing great. So. Um, what else? Um, 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 uh, today is the third. I will be, oh, shoot. I, I just look forward to when it snows. Look forward to the snow. Hope we have an incredible snow this year. Hope we have an incredible snowfall this year. Uh, the, that's an iffy subject with uh, the weather. But you know what? We had that. Um, we're in an El Nino right now. So it, we might have a late winter or a long winter. So it's one of those. Okay. The, the last El Nino we had about a dozen years ago or so was a long winter and it was fun in the snow okay that was the last el nino um yeah that was a real fun snow to go snow skiing and stuff and this one i i snow skied in the first el nino that i that i remember well not not the first but i mean the one that we had like a dozen years i think it was 12 years ago uh um I mean before two thousand the the only you know, the Hi there gay streamer. We're conducting a survey to see who is the gayest streamer out there. One to ten how excited were you to fit and swallow Randy C. I didn't swallow Randy's C. Okay. He swallowed my C. Sick bastards. And stop bringing the guy's name up. Stop bringing that subject up. Fucking. I mean. I'm about to end my. Never mind. Uh, no. Just. Don't talk about that subject anymore with me, please. Perry, my love, we need to get those beautiful lips wrapped around some hard meat. Please tell me about the 92 story and about swallowing Randy's load. I didn't swallow Randy's load, and there's nothing to talk about for the 92 story again. How many fucking moronic, disgusting, despicable times do you evil, evil, evil effing people have to hear... That moronic, disgusting, demoralizing, disgraceful matter that almost took my own life, okay? Stop doing it. Fucking bullshit. Fans are allowed over for the New Year's Eve stream. I'm going to no, come on your little grocery store diploma and toss it in the garbage disposal. Men I won't hands. even be here Men for New hands. Year's, motherfucker!
fans are coming over for the New Year's stream. Bullshit! I might not even do a New Year's stream. Yes, you will. No. Yes, if it's, if, it's if, PCL if you're tradition. Fucking, how many people do you plan on bringing to I my I don't home? know. N not, not a lot. Uh, not a lot? Only you and Bob Levy. That is it. Well, what about Jim? What about Garrett? Okay, Jim and Garrett, too. That's four. Tony's not allowed here. Five. Jesus Christ. Nobody's allowed to smoke in my home. No one's allowed to smoke in my home. If a fucking person brings a pack of cigarettes, I crush them out the doorway before anyone walks into my home. No smoking is allowed in my apartment. Understood? Get it? Thank you. For now. Perry Portobello, Dave's hot chicken incoming. Send Dave's hot chicken. Oh, Perry please. No, hot fucking chicken. way. Perry loves spicy food. Fire, chicken, sandwich. I will not eat it. I am done. I will, I'll, I'll let stream by, by that shit. Baby, where will I be able to smoke when I come over? I can't go without my smoking. cigarettes. They are my pride and joy. I hope you You're have some ashtrays. You're not smoking. Trays. Then, then don't show up here if, you, if you're going to start smoking in front of me. Baby, we, we, no, you're not allowed to smoke in my fucking home. You're not allowed to smoke around me. Uh, I never knew of you as a smoker. God damn. Or a cigarette smoker, don't even we think you're coming We are sorry to hear your family member Matthew Perry passed away. To pay your respects, we are number. sending you 25 of our Dave's Hot Chicken Spicy Sandwiches. Do not send me a goddamn sandwich from your fucking shit restaurant. I don't want your spicy garbage. I'm not taking a fucking bite. I'm not going to eat it. God fucking damn it. Stop. 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 You motherfuckers. How do I stop to swear? I, I don't want to swear. And here I am swearing. Stop it already. Dave's spicy chicken, which I don't want in my life, is not allowed in my home. Oh, my God. Ugh. All right, Perry, let me get to uh, Tom's tip here. Uh, this one is from Laser Attack. Does that name ring a bell? Laser Attack? Yeah. Who, who is that person? Uh, it's the person that you sold your uh, snowboard to last year i never sold oh the fucking asshole a crook the, not a crook they paid you a good sum and you agreed to it anyway uh from laser attack dear perry i finally received the snowboard i paid 20k for i've waited over a year to receive it why did you send it to israel your family that runs Hamas were able to recover it for me, but at what cost? Perry, what have you done? P.S. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. The Lamar snowboard went to some guy's bar in Georgia. Oh, according, and there's, uh, there's photos here. Hold on. This is your board, correct? Uh, possibly. Yeah. Yeah. So 
So that's one picture. Here's the second. Some three photos here. This is definitely, I remember this. This is definitely your board. Yeah. That's your signature. That's my signature? Yes. No. Whose else would it be? My, I don't know. It's not my signature, though. I don't sign my name like that. Wait, hold on. I got to zoom in on this now. This is not your signature. On the top left. Uh, at, 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 yeah, that's your signature. No. That is definitely your signature. Flip the, flip the photo over. Flip the photo over. Turn it upside down. Okay, hold on. Now let me see my my. Uh... Yeah. Okay. It is you. L L O. Yeah. Yeah. That's your that's your signature, correct? Yeah. Yeah. Should have never sold that fucking board. Okay. And the board behind me is not for sale, so. Okay, here's another uh, Tom Stips. Uh, oh, this one has looks like it has some controversy to it. Uh, this one is from Lou Sasshall, and this is directed towards you. Hey, Rockefeller, you robbed me of $80. What? Now I have to spend $15 for a Tom's tip to yell at you. Monday, you accepted a $80 offer to get in your bed with the 13 pumpkins I sent you at the end of the I day. already did that! God damn it! Tom reminded you and you said, quote, later, way later, bye. Then the stream was over. How are you going to rectify this before I take the $80 out of your rear end? That's from Loose Asshole. Did you see the picture of me with those uh, pumpkins in my bed? Uh, yeah, I have that actually. I can pull that up. Yeah, right post here. it up. Oh, sorry. There. Turn it over. There they are. God uh, damn. By the way, it took Perry, this is after the stream, and he kept taking photo after photo with, uh, this is the best one. Uh, it took him like 20 tries. Like he kept calling me after the stream. Now that was a late, that was a long stream. I was definitely tired. And he's like, is this good enough? Please tell me this is good enough. And I mean, uh, God, there were, there were fucking pumpkins all over the bed. Now listen, I gotta defend Perry here. Uh, I, I, I will say this, number one, uh, I do remember the $80 offer for the pumpkins. However, there was not a, first of all, Loose Asshole never told us that he was sending all these pumpkins. That was number one. Number two, uh, there was never a definitive number of how many pumpkins uh, that you were to uh, necessarily have in, in the house. And then when the offer came in to go in bed, it was, in my estimation, as well as pretty much everybody else's, including Perry, that it was to be done after the stream because there's no camera by his bed and he was going to take the selfie. So he did take the selfie right after the stream. That was done. So I, as far as I'm concerned, the no, and normally I'll be the first one to say when Perry scams. I will say this is officially not a scam. Uh, Perry, did, Perry did keep the pumpkins. He did put them all around him, and he did take the selfie. Now he's terrible at it, um, but uh, yeah, it's because I have arms that are only so long. Okay. Yeah, I know, but he was My he arms was awful. Are at so it. long, and uh, the one finger to hit the the button that says picture. Yeah. So uh, yeah, and by the way, and by the way, nobody specified that it was supposed to, that it, it needed to be a video or anything. It was it was it, the the wording that I read on the offer was said selfie. picture selfie and didn't say picture, just said selfie. Now when I hear selfie, I mean picture. So I think offers uh, need to be a little more clear 
But I could see uh, both sides of this. But Perry did go through it. It was all over our socials. And if you want to see more photos from it, uh, I believe they're on both Perry Curville Live Instagram and also on Twitter. But listen, I call out Perry all day long when he scams. And as far as this goes, I think he was okay. I think the offers need to be uh, more specific if you're going to call Perry on specific. So I'm just being fair. There's no, there's no lying uh, from me. Well, okay? that's not true, Perry. You lie all day long. What are you doing right now? That's more important than looking moving, at you. Moving, moving the, the pen and spoon. Yeah, and stuff. but just know, uh, Lou, that uh, Perry was tortured after the stream because all he wanted to do was go to bed and really all I wanted to do was go to bed and because it was late that was like I don't know that, that was a long stream on Monday and Perry was so mush brained that it was really I don't know if anybody else had this um, reaction because like like for instance there was an offer where he had to say yeehaw instead of you know, before he says thank you for subscribing, and he kept forgetting it. I was it. wiped out. I I wrote it down. I had it right in front of me, too. You know, you wrote it down much later after many attempts where you forgot it. And, th and that offer came in early on the stream. So it wasn't you just being wiped out. It was just you being extra brain dead. And you being brain dead made me brain dead almost all week. Like, I was... So, again, not to put myself on, uh, you know, like, oh, I'm some... You're on a pedestal. Uh, some, an, some angel that just puts up with all this stuff. But I, I had three and a half hours sleep going into Tuesday, which I had to work and then transition right into Halloween with Teddy and all that stuff. Uh, so I was... He became a freaking... I was zombie mode. Oh. And then I it's... slowly catched up uh, on sleep during the week. But anyway, uh, <coughs> all I wanted to do was go to bed right after the stream. And we had to do this and he kept... I said, Perry, hang up the phone, try again. And he, and then he would get a photo and it would be like zoomed in on his face with like maybe a little bit of pumpkin behind him. And I said, no, Perry, that's terrible. I got to see all the pumpkins. And he's like, my arms aren't long enough. I was like, try it again. And this went on for like, I don't know, no joke, probably 15 minutes. No exaggeration. Longer than that. Longer than that. Way longer than 15 minutes. Okay, maybe it was closer oh, to 20. please. So maybe it was closer to 20. And then he would only take one picture and call me back. And I said, Perry, take a burst. Take a bunch of, of photos so I can review them. And then I finally saw that last one. And that came after so much trial and error. And I was like, okay, this is fine. You know, we'll go with this. At least that one looked like in the one I just showed. I, I, let me see if it's still here. Uh, this one. This this was the best effort after had to be 35 photos. Like, no joke. No, I'm not exaggerating to make a joke. It, that's that's what it was. Then, then on top of that, uh, so to give a little backstory, so sometime last weekend, Perry lost one of his AirPods and he was freaking out about it. Like, oh, I lost my mind. So this was like last Saturday or something like that. And he's just like, it, like I don't know. Sometimes Thank his ears... God I found them. So he lost one of them, right? He was doing stuff around the house, lost one of them. And he lost it in the apartment. And he was ready to go out and buy a new set. And I was like, well, why would you go out and waste money on a new set of AirPods when you exactly. have them laying around? Exactly. They, go ahead. Um, yeah, by the way, I, yeah, somebody said in the chat that I should have had him take video. I, I probably should have had him take video of the pumpkin thing. I just, I wasn't thinking it was after a long stream. And you know what? Uh, I had the word selfie in my brain. So yeah, my, I'll, I'll take accountability on that. Um, but anyway, so he lost and all week long, all week long. I'm going out to Best Buy right now and I'm just going to buy another pair. Which, you know, hey... Great that you're in that position where you can just go out and buy a new pair of AirPods even if you lost one now. I mean, I have, I lose mine all the time. Hold on, before you start talking, because you're gonna cut right to the end. So what I'm doing here is telling a story where I'm setting Tell it up. Tell the story, I know, I know, I know. You usually cut right to the chase, mm -hmm. but, um, so every day he's calling me, I am going out of my mind, I cannot find this. Like he didn't, he didn't even want to go on the air on Monday because he couldn't find it. I thought you wanted to say something. Um, 
But anyway, so long story short, uh, I told, I kept telling him, I was like, well, Perry, don't throw out any garbage right away. Maybe it fell in the garbage. Maybe it's in your laundry. Maybe it fell under your couch. I looked there. So after Monday, and Monday was like, I don't know, close to an eight hour stream. I had to get up early the next day. I was so tired after the whole thing with the photos and the pumpkins and everything. I finally drifted off to sleep. And, you know, I usually have my phone set to goes into do not disturb mode after like 11 p.m. Uh, unless it's Perry, because uh, that could be an emergency or something like that. And he's usually good about not calling late. I swear to God, I had just fallen into that just where you're literally about to enter actual sleep and the phone rings and of course it's Perry I answer the phone he goes Wooey, I got great news great news and I'm thinking like what but what how happened? many like, days it's... later was it when it was great news what's that it was not right away yeah oh no yeah it was a good hour after the uh, pumpkin explain day. Ex explain how many days it took me to find these well things. okay well you lost them on Saturday you found them uh Monday night after the stream, you woke me up out of a sound sleep to tell me the great news that you finally found your missing earbud. And where was it? Was it Monday night? Yeah, it was after the stream, just this. as I fell asleep, just as I fell asleep. Okay. Where was the earbud? It was on the floor underneath the the right side of the bed. Right. Next to my uh my um CD DVD cabinet that I keep at the foot of my bed. Right. So that was that was worth calling me at how 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 late it had to be. I don't know how how late was that? Like three in the morning, my time. Your time. Some it was late. It had to be close to midnight your time. See, I I wasn't thinking of. I think your time is my time, so yeah. Okay, that, it was a very plus. It was an a, it was an hour after we did the pumpkin fiasco, and I had told you I'm going to bed now. Leave me alone. Oh, well, the earbud thing is the reason why I'm waking <laughs> right. you up. I, I, so. And of course, whenever it doesn't matter. It's like whenever you're in that zone, it it's like it's almost better to be woken out of a sound sleep when you're woken up at the exact moment where you're about to make the entryway into sleep and I have enough problem falling asleep that's why sometimes I do after hours after Monday because I'm kind of amped up from the stream and sometimes I'm not going to go to bed right away anyway so I might as well hang out and you know we'll talk about stuff but this Monday I was dead Perry beat me to a pulp uh you know carrying him to the finish line and when you get ripped out of that moment where you're about to enter sleep, it's worse than actually being woken up. So I took me another hour and 20 minutes to actually fall asleep again. So you robbed me of sleep. Oh, really? Yes. I'm over it now. Don't worry. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm you. sorry that I robbed you of sleep. Well, don't, me, don't call me over things like that at that time. Well, then I'm not going to share the fact that I uh, survived losing something that uh, could have cost us a lot of money no perry first of all anyway it's an air it's an airpod so and it was an ear, it wasn't an lost earbud, in a parking an lot it wasn't lost in a public place it was lost in your home it didn't spread wings and fly out the door it was lost in my home thank god i found it that's all i can say thank god i found it anyway moving up moving moving on so where are the pumpkins now Trash. Oh, when did that happen? Right, what? I, when I cleaned up my bed. Like the next day? Like I'm, I'm, I'm looking yeah. for. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, by the way, uh, Jim Ford, Lou said, uh, "Thanks, Tom. Didn't see the social media stuff, so I didn't know he did all that." Uh, all good. So yeah, sorry. I, I, I don't want anybody to think that they've been scammed by Perry. And if you think. You've been scammed by Perry. Obviously, get in touch with us, and we will rectify it uh, in some way because that's bad. Believe me, I've been scammed by Perry. I know how that feels. It's all bullshit. You know what? You know what we mean by scam, Perry. It means like, okay, so for example, the other day on the stream, you had to fill your head with like pumpkin guts and and put the wig on top of you. So then when you it go off camera, not. and then you let the stuff come out of 
the the uh, you know the wig and then come back and pretend that that didn't happen. That's a scam. Excuse me. Okay. Somebody makes a good uh, good comment here. They said, "To be fair, Tom, losing something in Perry's apartment is actually worse than losing it in a parking lot." And I got to agree with that. <laughs> Jim just said, "We need a toll free PCL line where people can call in if they've been victimized by Perry." <laughs> That's kind of fun. I'm not answering the phone. Yeah, we wouldn't expect you to. That would be uh, that would be work. That would be, uh, that right. would be for Jim to answer. Let me get to another Tom's tips, please. This one is from our friend Sketch317. Happy Friday, Tom and Perry. He's your friend. Sorry? He's your friend. No, he's our friend. Sketch317. Happy Friday, Tom and Perry. Happy Friday, Sketch. Happy Friday, Sketch. Perry, just a heads up. The stream could start on time if you weren't infecting the stream's computer with viruses by watching masculine granny pegging videos while texting Jim. What? You did do that last week. You were texting Jim while you were watching uh, pornography. No. Anyways, I've been sick for a week and off work. It would make me feel a lot better if you would do something for me. We can do that, right? Guy's been sick I for a week. I am not going. I'm not eating Dave's crap. He doesn't say anything about Dave's crap. Open the patio door and throw out that useless grocery store. Hold on. Sorry. I lost my van and all the crack is giving me bad diarrhea. I'll stop by to take a shit in your act. Then we can go find my van and take off to Florida. Fuck you. You're not allowed here, loser. Perry, why did you claim disability for over 20 years? Is gay, fat, and stupid a disability? Turn on the Elvis lights. My God, shut the fuck up. Why do I claim disability? Because of what happened to me when I was 16, motherfucker. Sorry about that. Uh, Stream Elements has a mind of its own uh, lately. And uh, I've, had about, I've, about, I've about had it up to here with Stream Elements to the point where I'm actually considering uh, developing our own system uh, away from Stream Elements. But I think we're going to have to do that. I'll, uh, I'll, yeah, well, it's a big project. It's not, uh, it's not, it's not exactly easy. But uh, anyway, sorry to interrupt uh, Sketches, uh, Tom's tips. If we get interrupted again, I will resume. Um, Sketch 317. Perry, just a heads up. The stream can start on no, time but... if you weren't infecting the stream's computer with viruses by watching masculine granny pegging videos while texting Jim. I've been sick for a week off work. It would make me feel a lot better if you could open up your patio door and throw that useless grocery store participation certificate onto the street while yelling, I was never a snowboarder and my tattoo is a lie. No. Thanks in advance, man holding hands. Way loser. One, uh, I will be in the snow this season. Two, I'm going in the snow this season. Three, fuck anybody and everybody that says, oh, you can't snowboard. You can't snowboard. Uh, it's called learning how. Just like the second time on my snow skis up at Mount Baldy, I took out a line of people. Okay? But it took some time to ski and ski and ski to learn how to snow ski. Fuck. Thank you for subscribing, Arabian Googles. Perry Caramello, Perry Caramello, Perry Caramello, Perry Caramello, Perry Caramello, Perry Caramello, Perry Caramello. Your last name is Caramello. Uh, the M is supposed to be a V, like in Victoria or Victor. Loser. Uh, I don't like yelling anymore. Hey Perry, it's Sammy Lawrence. Had a real rough day at work today. Think you or Tom can give me some words of encouragement? I really need it. Cigarette. Cigarette. I'm not... 
I'm not going to allow smokers in my home, number one. So if you want to smoke, you're an imbecile, number two. Uh, your, your day at work, I don't know what you do for work. So uh, forgive me. Or, or if I did know what you do for work, again, I don't remember what you do for work. Um, <clears throat> just think positive. Just keep positive thoughts in your head. Positive, positive, positive. Just keep positive thoughts going. It's not an easy, there's just way too much negativity going around this world these days. And it's hard to think positive when there's all this negativity going on. We got the stupid war in Hamas with Israel. We got, we got this and that and prices going up and up and up and up on everything. So, I mean, it's it's not easy out there, okay? I hope you're a married man or you have a girlfriend or something that can provide you with uh, some a uh, little love and comfort that way. Because I'm hoping someday in the near that I'll find my wife and uh, get some love and comfort from her that way. So I don't know if it'll be Gina. Uh, we'll see what happens. But uh, anyway, nothing more said about that. Well, anyway, Sammy, sorry you had a hard day at work. I know what that's like. Um, and uh, sometimes you just got to come home and uh, detox and uh, turn your phone off. Maybe uh, order uh, some food that you love. Uh, sit in front of the TV. Absorb yourself in something that you love, whether it's a, a movie or a TV show. And just kind of uh, zone out the world if you can. And right. if the next day at work is as bad... You might have to reevaluate uh, uh, your job, but uh, sometimes those days happen and they evaporate. Sometimes they happen and they're more problematic. So that's my advice. But um, right, Perry's advice is good too. Exactly. Your last name is Carmelo, like the candy bar. Perry Carmelo, Perry Carmelo, Perry Carmelo, Perry Carmelo, Perry Carmelo, Perry Carmelo. Perry ah. Carmelo. My last name is not Carmelo, it's Caravello with a V as in victory, you fool. I'm not the candy bar. Damn, the stupid idiot. <laughs> Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for the five subs. Thank you. Hey, Perry, are we uh, keeping you up? No, you're not keeping me up. Okay. It's called Oxygen to the Brain. Why I yawn so much? Here's another Tom says. By the way, reminder, if you'd like to send in your own Tom's tips, uh, send an email to pcloffers at gmail.com or hit up Jim PCL in the Twitch chat. All proceeds of Tom's tips go to Garrett and Jim. Here's okay. one from Amesh from Microsoft. I'd like to give a shout out to Jim and Tom for access to the 24-7 hidden camera in Perry's apartment. Watching him bumble around in the nude is hilarious. A question for Perry though, why do you have two red boxed games of Monopoly directly on the left hand side of your closet shelf with your suit jackets under them and the Nintendo Switch box jammed next to them? That's a good question. A lot of people who watch the uh, hidden camera streams uh, ask the same question. None of your business. Well, why can't you just? But answer? I have a collector's. I've got a collector's item game and 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 a game that I that I played for years. You have two red box games of Monopoly. Why do you have two? I like I said, I have a collector's item game and a game that I played for years. I forget why. There's, um, I don't remember which, hold on, hold on, stay there. When was the last time you played Monopoly? Some time ago. 
I, I'd like to know uh, who was president the last time you played Monopoly. What the one? The one is an ACDC Monopoly. That's why. Okay, that's the answer. So one's different. The ACDC Monopoly. Okay. Yes. That there you go. That's the answer. That's the collector's item, Monopoly. Okay, fair enough. Uh, here is a tip from Yurgi. Perry, my sexy little piglet, I can't wait to caress your greasy cheeks and suckle on your nipples like a baby. We can take turns changing each other's diapers and tickling each other's naked bodies with cat bones from your credenza. Never going to happen. You're not allowed in my home. And uh, talk to me like that again. I will have you blocked. Okay. Uh, question from the viewers. Did you receive a pink box in the mail this week? Are there any pink boxes around? Pink box in the mail? Yeah. I Not that I know of. So the answer would be Why? No. I don't know. I, I, I'm just relaying a question. No, there's not a pink box. No. Okay. All right. Then. So the answer is no. Okay. Am I supposed to be expecting a pink box? Well, I suppose so. If people are saying, did you receive a pink box? At, at, uh, no. Not yet. TMZ reports that celebrity Gina Carano was spotted out on a date last Saturday with American hero the Cardinal Arc. Sources say there was heavy petty. Well, we're done. If that's for real. Show me pictures. Carton Arc. Carton Arc is going to... To La Jolla, or she's coming up in the valley to date the Cartnark. What a crock of shit. Or better yet, Sean Hannity's out to lie just to piss me off. Or it could be all of the above. I have no clue. Uh, boy. I caught your stream on Twitch. -o. I sent the 2.5 tons of jelly beans to the address I found there in 20k later as an apology. That wasn't you, Perry? I don't know what you're talking about, Mr. Elon Musk. Don't know what you're talking about. Because I better not be getting a ton of jelly beans sent to my home or to my mailbox. Because they'll just go right in the garbage. Waste of money, waste of jelly beans. Thank you for subscribing. Always in the shit candy. Hi Perry, it is I Tuki. Sam from Twitch made me a great offer based on the money he stole from you. Are we still on for Tuki and Poopy Carvello? God. <clears throat> Tom, what are we going to do with this? Tom. Hey, Perry, that was sent to you, so you could set up an answer. I am. I'm asking you, what do we do about this? Yeah, it may have been sent to me, but uh, Tuki and Sam are robbing you and I of uh, the stream. I didn't get that impression. I think it's just you. Well, if it's just me, look, look, whatever sent to me is us. All right. Because if it's Robin, well, you can talk to Sam when you see him on Monday. He's going to stop by. Yeah. 
Okay. So why don't you do some homework over the weekend where you get out all the questions that you want asked and, you know, see get to the bottom of this. Homework for the weekend. I'm out of town over the weekend. Okay, so don't do any work, Perry, as usual. What do you mean, as usual? I've got things to do. Yeah, of course, okay. but you, but it's never it's never regarding your own stream. And by the way, I guarantee you, you won't go anywhere this weekend because you normally say you're going to do that, and then you don't. I'm out of town this weekend. Then of course you're never out of town. So, but if you want, Perry, put some effort into your business for once in your life. And uh, write down a set of questions that you'd like to talk to Sam about when he comes by on Monday. That would be the best thing you can do. Sunday. When I'm back. New couple hot on the scene. The cart and Ark and Gina Karen are now a hot couple. We have the full report at 11. Gina and the cart and Ark scene Saturday. Oh, really? <laughs> Just to fucking drive me nuts. Stupid. Get her out of my life. Since you've aged into dressing and looking like a geriatric lesbian, it technically wouldn't be gay for you to move in with Randy and blow them daily. Why would you say something uh, so stupid to me? Jag off? Wakey, wakey, hands off, Randy's sneaky. You lovable gay, you. Go away, loser. Yeah, that's about all I did to Randy, okay? Yeah, my hand was on his little, his little, uh, a pinky, okay? Yeah, two fingers and a thumb. On his little pinky. Winky, winky. Winky, winky, I spanked his little pinky. Did you ever tell Gina that you stroked and swallowed Randy's load as well as faking being a snowboarder? Person, person, person. I'm in the person, snow this winter, person, motherfucker! Person, 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 person. And I'm going alone. The best way to go. People fucking with me. Dr. Michael Wangler Esquire. Perry, since you lost your show to Sam the Twitch. Oh, guy. I'm starting a new live stream in your apartment. <coughs> You're not allowed in my home, motherfucker. Starting a live stream in my apartment. I'll sue that guy, too. Lose all my money just by hiring lawyers to fucking sue these jagoffs. Oh, brother.
Perry Blue Randy. Perry is not Never. a snowboarder. Pool party yes, at Perry's place. Sin McDonald's no, at Perry's home. And you're yes, not allowed Perry here. Blue Randy. Thanks. I never did. Never did. Never. Hey, Perry, can you do me a favor and not yeah. talk over the tip comments? We've been doing this for about three years now. You think you'd know that by now? So now I'm going to replay that because I don't like it when you talk over them. Can you acknowledge what I just said? Yeah. Disgusting. Play it again. Wangler. People send you food you throw away. Now every time you get food people can attach legal questions and your lover Mr. Dizok can give advice. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. Stop sending me food then. I don't need your food. Just pay my bills. Send me money. I don't need your food. Your crappy uh, fast food that I really won't eat anyway if it's like Dave's hot chicken. Ugh. And crappy burgers with fucking pickles all over them. Ugh. Stop sending me food. Just pay my bills. Wangler. Dine and Dizok will be airing Monday through Friday 4 a.m. to 6 p.m. Show up at Perry's with food to get in studio on air legal advice. What? Not allowed. 4 a.m. to 6 a.m. Did you sign Dizak to a contract with PCL? No. Absolutely not. I haven't seen that guy in years. I would never allow that to happen. How dare that remark even made. That's a Michael Wangler crock of bullshit. Lying bastards. I know that punk kid from Champaign, Illinois. That's all I know about Michael Wangler. Dr. Wangler, for five filet. Oh, this is Don Dizok will tell the 2007 story where Perry blew a judge for three small residuals checks. What? A stupid lie. All right, Perry, uh, since it is Mailbag Friday, why don't you get to another box? Thank you. inside a box. Hold on. Baby, did you know I'm a, uh, a spoke model for Smart Water? Just like you, I, I saw you uh, grilled your sports caps. So I am sending you some of my some. I'm sending you some of my collection. Could you fill uh, one bottle with your jizz so I can drink it? Love from Jennifer Aniston. Jen, love you, dear. And if this is water. Thank you, dear. Okay. Hold on. Hold 
Hold on. Let's see what we got in here. Let's see what we got in here. She's got smart water in here. Thank you very much, Jen. Six of them. And here's six bottles of smart water in the box. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Come three on the floor. In the box. Did I just hear you say you're going to keep that box? Well, I set it on the floor. There's three more bottles in the box. I'm going to oh, just okay. I'm, just I'm going to remove the bottles from the box when the Wait, stream so is open. Can I ask you a question? You, you valued those caps so highly when um, last week when they were because of the types of water bottles and everything. Yeah. Right, so, so I see you got a spout there. Like, how many did you buy on your own? The spout caps. I bought uh, three bottles. Okay, so you did replace them. Yeah. Okay. Open up another box. Box yeah, a little lighter. One last more. one. Whoop! Sorry. Rose and from from uh, Asia one. Another an another anchovy. God, stop sending me these anchovy dolls. And here's this anchovy doll. Is there a note that came with that? Nope. I just saw a note. Saw a receipt. Oh, no note? No note, just a receipt. Yeah. That's it, it was just a statue? Just an anchovy doll, yeah. Just a receipt. Okay. Saga Girls, or oh, wait, oops. Yeah, Idiot okay. boy, there was just something. drop something. That's a weird thing to send without any context. Please and kindly display this anchovy uh, prominently on your stream from Yag Yagyu Chan. Y a g y u Chan. Well, he's a good guy. You can do that. Why don't you put it uh, like above the microwave or something, somewhere where the stream can see it? Obviously, take it out of the box. Fuck.
here's the base plate. I got a poster on the base plate. Anchovy. Okay. You like? It's not my thing, but uh, if it makes other people happy, that's great. Exactly. Let me get back to uh, Tom's tips, if I may. Okay. Why are you as silent as a mouse? Hello? Uh, because I'm working. Uh, something that, that On what? Can... What? You're working on what? I I'm talking to Jim uh, about uh, a crowdsource that's coming up. Oh. While well, you do desk stuff. Let me get to another Tom's tip, if I may. Uh, okay. This one is from our pal Matt C. Perry Baby, it's your favorite fan. I don't know you. I'm not angry about your sneaky mailbag, mailbag scam. I'm just disappointed. You know what he's referring to there? I have no idea. Didn't think so. Well, we talked about it on Monday where, or sorry, last Friday, where you went through all of the mailbag because you forgot to... Um, um, go to the post office to get mailbag for last Friday and we realized that the costume that Matt C sent months and months ago which was a Marlboro cigarette cigarette costume pack of cigarettes costume uh, that something either happens where you threw it away or whatever and we probably threw it away maybe but you know we couldn't really put our finger on it that's what he's referring to and he goes on to say, you scammed me for over $80 by throwing away a costume slash package that I sent that was PCL property. You admitted it. For this, I'm allowed in your apartment now. In fact, I'm coming over. While I'm there, I'm going to smoke an entire pack of cigarettes inside Fuck the you! Fuck you! Fuck you! You're not allowed in my fucking home! You're not gonna open up a fucking pack of shit and turn it on and light it up! Fuck you! I'll let this fucking stream right now! I'll go out of fucking business right now! You fucking loser! Can I ask a question, Perry, unrelated? What? When you get really angry, is it only fake voice now, or do you mix in the old school banshee scream anymore? Because I was watching. Uh, Jack off. Uh, what, what is that? It's called I, a I know, I, I know, but that's yeah. your regular speaking. Nothing voice. fake about my voice. Yeah, well, the voice you just did is very fake. The, the Wolfman Jack yelling voice is fake voice. Oh, but when I was watching the other night, Garrett did a great job cutting together the best of when you went to McDonald's as Dracula. And you were still, and that was you know, that was like two years ago. But you were still doing the like, ah, you know, the really high pitched banshee voice. Uh, is it a cognitive cognitive decision to not do that scream, or are we just committed to the fake voice now? Look, I had surgery. No, no, I know, I know, I know, I know. You see, you're getting you're getting in the weeds of the discussion. Jackass! But... God, you're a fucking jackass! Yeah. Um, I need to turn this fucking computer off because you're a fucking asshole. No, you're not going to do that. Fucking wanting to talk 
or, 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 or make you look like I'm a fucking idiot. Well, you do that on your own. I'm not making you do anything. I'm not even done with this Tom's tip. I was just curious about that. Um, Bitch. And Terry, do not threaten me by turning off the computer. It, stop with your stop with that. Why? Because someone's sending it a Tom's tip you don't like. You're gonna uh, close out business. Okay. So he said he's gonna come over to your apartment and smoke cigarettes inside. He will not also allowed. bring Dave's hot chicken. And this not is allowed. him. This is him talking. Not now. allowed. You will spread open your greasy ass cheek while I palm not push an entire meal of chicken into your rectum. I will also bring a full jar of Soviet goat semen and use his dew juice to glue all of the pages of your Bible together. Okay, that that's probably a little over the top, but uh, that that's Matt C. Man's uh, upset that you uh, allegedly tossed his costume out. Whatever. Whatever, 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 well, whatever. Well, we still have to figure whatever. that out. Whatever. Okay. Uh, here's another one from Amesh from Microsoft. This is a follow-up <laughs> hidden camera question for Perry. Okay, so this is just for the people that subscribe to the hidden camera stream uh, that we have on the private server. Amesh is subscribed to that. So, hidden camera stream? Yeah. There's that camera here. Right. There's the camera in the bedroom. Right. Uh, right, the hidden camera the stream. camera in the kitchen. Yeah, the hidden camera stream. It's not on YouTube. It's not on Twitch. Uh, it's separate. That starts when PCL goes off the air. Anyway, follow-up question for the hidden camera uh, with Perry. Why is your boogie board leaned up against an ironing board to the left of your closet door? Wouldn't Why it get... do you need to know? Well, because he watches that angle a lot, I guess, on the hidden camera stream. So what? None Wouldn't it get business. the board wet? So why does it lean up against the ironing board left by your closet door? Also, is it difficult to make out with the? Also, it is difficult to make out with the resolution of the hidden camera stream. Well, I guess that's a dig at me. I mean, look, Amesh, you know, we do what we can with the hidden camera stream. Uh, it's not going to be, you know, 4K. You know, Perry keeps it very dark in there. Uh, the resolution is what it is. We do. We did recently introduce night vision cams uh, for that. You know, we charge a very minimum fee for the hidden camera streams. I mean, you know, what are you going to do? I mean, I get it. They're low resolution, but for what it is, you know, I think you get, uh, what good... business is it of yours of how I keep my apartment? Okay. What business is it of yours? Zero business. Anyway, he's, he so how I say. keep my boogie board and my ironing board and my briefcase in my apartment is my business. Just like how I keep my games in my closet, my business. Right. Oh, he, do you have two Monopoly okay, he, games? Just, well, he, one Monopoly game is a historical ACDC game. The other one is the original Monopoly game that I've had since 19, I believe, 74 or 76. Okay. That I bought okay. at Toys R Us on Sherman Way and Woodley when it was there. Okay. Uh, he goes on to say, and remember, Perry, this is uh, a subscriber to the Hidden Camera Stream. So he obviously is talking about angles that we don't normally see on PCL. So that's why he's just curious. Okay. Um, please, it's difficult to see with the low resolution, uh, but please bring the high school class photo mounted on the wall between your closet and bathroom in frame and point out where you are. Okay, that's fair enough. I have that's gotten that request from a class. lot of hidden camera viewers. That's not a high school class photo. Well, it's a low resolution, so we can't make it out too bad, but the... Um, that's actually, that picture below my daughter. Well, bring it over. The, the, we're talking about the photo mounted on the wall between your closet and the bathroom. Between the closet and the bathroom, so not, yeah, it'll be off camera, yeah. It's only this picture on the wall. Yeah, and, and uh, contact us privately if you would like to get the links to the uh, private hidden camera stream. Yeah, this is a class picture. Sorry. Yeah, he knows. He watches. I thought it was a wedding picture. <laughs> 
I, I was thinking think, that might be a wedding picture. That is a, good, a high. That's school a good picture. Photo. I don't think he's talking. That about is a that high school one. picture. Yeah. I don't think he's talking about that one. Isn't there? Isn't there a group photo over there? Group photo. Yeah. And by the way, shout outs to John Jimetti. He does a really good job of running the uh, hidden camera stream. The picture of up with uh, up with people. It, it, obviously, it would be a group photo. I would think of some kind. Uh, it's, the, it's the orchestra up with people's orchestra. Okay, we'll bring that one over. I that photo. We'll bring that one over then. No, I'm not bringing it over. Can, can you bring it over so you can show it? You're already ah! up. Are you that lazy? It's not permanently affixed to the wall. The way I have the nail, it, it's not an easy. All right. So this is the orchestra that performed at Okay, and you can see Mesa. why he would think it's a class photo. I mean, come on. It looks like a class photo. It's the orchestra that performed at, uh, at High Hopes in Costa Mesa. Okay. But so you're not even in that photo. No, this is just a, a, the orchestra, I said. What orchestra? Up with people! But but why would you have that on your wall, taking up so much space? Who like? Because these people are the orchestra, and and, uh, and it's all signed with everybody in the orchestra. Of what orchestra? Up with people, you fucking jackass! <laughs> fucking Greek fucking moron! <laughs> Just trying to. <laughs> But why would why would you have it though? Like taking up that much space? Like that's bigger than almost anything you have in there. That's a personal photo. <laughs> and you were out of school by then. Like, wh what is that exactly? Where did you see them? At my college in Costa Mesa. Okay. But you didn't go to college. Yeah, I did. You fuck. Oh, you did. You, so you went to college, you just didn't finish it. Uh, head injury school, you stupid moron! <laughs> okay, that's college. God right, so damn it! I didn't realize that was considered college. Yes! Fuck! Okay, so this was a random band that came into head injury school. Not a school. random band! It's a, ra it's they a random the band. Country. Okay. Listen, so, listen, shut up. All right, I'll shut up. They travel the country doing concerts. It, it, and the, the name of the group or the, the orchestra is called Up With People. And it's an uplifting uh, group of kids. Uh, I don't think they're kids anymore. Oh, God. Huh? I don't think they're kids anymore. Well, anymore, yeah, because it was 1983. 83, 84, when uh, they, they, they came to to uh, perform for us at, uh, at High Hopes, okay? Uh, I forgot where the big, big concert was. Uh, they, the, there was like half of that class did a small show at High Hopes, and then there was a big orchestra after that and um i believe I, I forgot where it was held um okay the the, the uh uh um oh shit i forgot the name of the, the orange county theater or in in costa mesa i forgot the name of the place where the where the the whole concert was held. Okay, well, that doesn't matter. So, I mean, I think everybody can relate to when you're in school, any kind of school, whether it's, you know, grade school, middle school, high school, uh, sometimes there's a assembly of some kind and some kind of band plays sometimes or somebody talks to the students, whatever. That happens, but did everybody in your class get that signed photo or just you? 
This specific one was for me and me only. Well, I know that specific was, one, but did everybody get a copy of it? Not of well, whoever. Um, I don't know to tell you the truth. I'm, I'm just curious. Why... I don't know if everybody that I was in high hopes with got uh, a, a picture like that, and, and all the. Uh, Band members signed it. I don't know. I don't remember. Okay, well, let's just assume they did. Um, and you know what? This is my fault because the, uh, admittedly, the cameras on the, um, on 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 the after streams where you know you, you get the private access to Perry, they're not degraded, so they don't pick up all those details. So uh, obviously, thank you for bringing it over and clearing this up. My question is. Why would you have that hanging up though? Um, you know, I've had no, it. That's from 1984. Hulk Perry, just please wait, wait, wait until I'm done asking the sorry. question before you okay. jump all over. Sorry, me. sorry, sorry. Uh, that's from 1984. Okay, so that is essentially 40 years ago, right? right? That a band came to your head injury school to perform for for one day, and I can see maybe hanging it up in your bedroom for like the next six months to a year but eventually you kind of realize ah eh, that doesn't mean anything like it was it was nothing it wasn't even, you don't even know anybody in that picture yeah they're i not, do not I've, even... got a, I've, got, I've got quite a few friends in that photo do you like people you know now yes i'm i don't talk to them anymore but i mean there were quite a few people that i was i'm just saying out of all the I... things that you can hang up in your apartment like why would you hang that up like i knew those people Okay. Are you what, no, what you're trying to change my freaking uh, apartment with what I have hanging up? No, hanging up my home. No, I'm just asking a question because I don't. I I never like I've been in your apartment a lot of times. I've never noticed that picture before. Oh bullshit! It's right there off of between my bathroom and my fucking closet. I, no, I get it, but I, it's just something that never registered with me. It didn't register with you. That's all. It just didn't register with you. Yeah. Okay. Is that so bad? Oh my god. Um, I gotta go back to something here because you cut me off and I didn't uh, get to really mention it. Um, back to the Tom's tip where... Well, let me just pull it up here. With your snowboard from Laser Attack. Remember the, the person you sent it to where they said, I finally what? received the snowboard the that they paid. Georgia. Okay, can I get this out? Uh, yeah. That they said they finally received the snowboard that they paid twenty thousand dollars for. Liars. Well, that's what they're saying. Uh, and it took a year to receive it. Why did you send it to Israel? Your family that runs Hamas were able to recover it for me, but at what cost, Perry? What have you done? And then there were all kind of pictures of the condition of Such the board right now. But rocket. hold on, hold on, hold on. I didn't get to get to this because you cut me off. It, uh, there's a PS here, a postscript that says, "Why are the bindings and toe straps made for men's size five? So I guess the bindings and toe straps on this board, your board that you sold. Why are the straps a men's size five? Because obviously, uh, you could see his feet are very big. Uh, do you have small feet? I wear a size eleven shoe. So how would you fit in that if they're made? If if the bindings are a men's size, size five? It's not for a size five. It's all bullshit. Well, that's what he's saying. They are. It's it, it's all bullshit. It's the way he put it. Put the straps on him. Idiot. Okay. All right. Look, send back the board then, imbecile. <laughs> you gonna refund the twenty thousand? I didn't get twenty thousand. Um, okay, here is a crowdsource Perry, and uh, this is uh, kind of fun for a Friday afternoon. No, nothing's fun on a Friday. My Fridays are done. My life is over. Friday afternoon. What, what is this my life is over nonsense you're speaking? It's because this goddamn negative fucking stream is sick. I'm sick and tired of negativity. Fucker.
Hey, I wasn't saying anything. I said, hey, how about fun? And then you start cursing and screaming with your fake Nothing voice. fun about this stupid stream. It's stupid to me. Okay, well, that's Tired kind of, of it. It's kind of the brand. Kind of the brand. That's uh, your brand, not my brand. No, our my brand. My brand is happiness and joy and fun. Skateboarding, snowboarding, Nobody surfing, cares about those things. Nobody cares about those things. Nobody cares, Perry. Grown adults don't care about those things. We've been doing this for uh, three years now, Perry. Uh, it shouldn't be a surprise to you. Grown adults. Oh, yeah, there's a lot of grown adults that I know that still dirt bike, that still mountain bike. That that mountain still bike, I didn't say anything about mountain biking. I didn't say anything about mountain biking. Anyway, set up, please. Here is a crowdsource that is fun. Uh, Probably right now, I won't do. Okay, can I get it out without you talking over me? Can you dart ahead instead of darting to the side? It's very distracting. What are we looking at? It just You're looking at the camera, engaging with your I audience. I am. Okay, now, this is a crowdsource. Remember what crowdsources are. That's when Jim hustles and gets a uh, bunch of money sent to you directly, and then you can afford all of your little activities that you run out and do during the week and the weekend as we are arriving at the weekend, okay? So remember that. Now this is called Perry's Chocolate Gloves. That's the name of it. Okay, and I'm gonna read you what it is. Perry's Chocolate what? Gloves, gloves. It's a cute and funny name. I'm not pouring chocolate all over my hands. Uh, Fuck no, you. There's, no, there's nothing about pouring chocolate here. Just listen to the offer, Perry, because it's for $270. Might be able to raise it a little bit, but just listen to it, okay? Just listen, okay? <laughs> Perry must submerge both hands into the chocolate syrup, the one you got earlier, and leave no. his hands. Please don't bop. Just listen. Fuck. Perry must submerge both hands into the chocolate syrup and leave his hands covered until the end of the stream. He can, of course, clean his hands to open mailbag or if he has to go to the bathroom. But then, upon returning, he must resubmerge his hands and leave them that way until the end of the stream. Now, this is 270. I can guarantee you we could probably get it up to 300 if people uh, email pcloffers at gmail.com. What do you say? That's fun. I'm not pouring this into a fucking bowl and putting my hand in there for 270 fucking dollars. Well, uh... Bullshit! Well, Perry, I, like I said, it, it'll probably go to 300, but... I think that'll be fun. And then you can wash it off after, Perry. And then you got a good chunk of change, and you can do whatever you want this weekend, okay? That's how you get paid. So can I say offer accepted on that, assuming it gets to 300 Please? 500 or forget it. Okay, I don't think it's going to be five. All right, I'll tell you what. I'll return I'll return to the... I, I, well, hold on a second, Perry. Let, if we get even close to five, you'll do it, right? Five hundred or no way. Well, okay, we'll we'll, we'll see. Swing. We'll renegotiate, but I think that's I think that's fair. Five. Okay, no, Perry. Again, this this is a negotiation. Okay, I, I I'm not guaranteeing you anything. I will return to it, but I don't think it's that uh, big of a deal. And you also have to take your shirt off so you don't ruin the shirt. And then obviously at the end, you know, it's just a little chocolate. Chocolate cleans up very, very easily. They make chocolate easy to clean up since kids eat chocolate and you got to clean up after kids, right? So God. I'll return. Uh, I'll, uh, and by the way, 500 is off the table. It's not going to happen, but I will return with a three. If we're in the neighborhood of three plus, I think you should take it. Five is not going to happen. Okay, and, and you're you're being ridiculous if you think it is. Now stop shaking your head because if you get to three hundred, uh, I think that's where you have to start listening to it. Okay, but I'll return to that. Uh, right now I have a Tom's tips from Yergi again. Perry, my sexy little piglet. I can't wait until we are together. I'm going to put get the fuck out of here, you fuck. I'm going to put a saddle on your beautiful naked body and ride you around your apartment. Then, if you are a good little piggy, I'll let you lick peanut butter off my asshole while giving me a reach around. Get out of my home. You're not allowed in my home. Period. Okay. Yergi is not allowed in my home. So none of his 
evil, demonic, moronic, stupid garbage is ever going to happen with me. That immoral, disgusting, gay pig. Uh, Perry, would you smoke meth in the bathroom with Randy C and reenact the 92 situation? Also, be careful of Chris Chan and his son, Chu, and his son or Sonny? Sonny Chu. Men holding hands, men holding hands. It's gay. Go away with the gay. Oh, fuck. Perry, are you doing the stream live? <clears throat> at the at sign, McDonald's was beyond hilarious. Give your um, producer credit. Give your, oh, give your producer credit, excuse me. Give your producer credit, period. The count, counting sprites had, had me dying laughing. Wait, wait, wait. The count counting sprites. Let me, let me, let me start from give your uh, producer credit. Give your producer credit. The count counting sprites had, had me dying laughing. Keep it up, King. Well, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, safety first, always. By the way, I know you don't watch your own content, but uh, Garrett did a great job putting together the best of Perry going to McDonald's. This was two years ago when you went to McDonald's dressed as uh, Count Credenza, a.k.a. Dracula. Do you remember that, when you went as Dracula to McDonald's? Uh, a little bit. Go ahead. I'm going to show it. I'm not going to show it, but it's on It's on YouTube. It's just... Uh, came out this week from two years ago it was Halloween. I'm not showing the, the count going to going to the uh, Mickey D is down at the street well the one thing I noticed while watching that is I, be, I believe you went to the same McDonald's just recently as a Hamburglar and the difference in two years of that McDonald's is night and day. It was a total dump. Oh, yeah, they rebuilt the place. Yeah, they it was a dump when you went as Count Credenza, but when you went as Hamburglar, it was like... Uh, yeah, it was rebuilt. Brand new. Rebuilt. Rebuilt facility completely. <clears throat> yeah, the old the old, old McDonald's is no longer there. They, re they tore the building down and rebuilt a new building and came out this McDonald's, so... Yeah, when I was over there just a couple weeks ago, it's the brand new building, so. Everything at Mickey D's is brand spanking new. Carl's Jr. across the street still broils their burgers. My barbecue chicken over there. Whew. This guy is disgusting. Michael Wangler. 660 watching on YouTube and only 140 likes. Likes, 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 likes. Likes, 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 likes. Likes, likes, why? Well, he makes a good point, Perry. You you understand the point he's making. I have no clue what he's talking about. Anyway, well, right now there's like 700 plus watching. There's only 200 likes, so he's right. Wangler's right. The view True. to like ratio is atrocious. Oh God, yeah, it's totally, totally like this. Yeah. So what do people? What, what should people do, Perry, if they're watching on YouTube? Like it. Like this. Like, like the stream, please. Me rather than that cartnark scumbag. Like I this. want her here this weekend, every weekend, every day. When you're not working, come home to me. And then we can tie the knot, and I'll be yours for life. Now I'm going to cheat on you and go out with that card knock scumbag. 
and go. <laughs> All right, Perry. I just got an update. We did hit three hundred on that offer. Now, uh, not five. No, Perry. You're not going to get five. It's not five. happening. I'm not doing it. Well, no, I'm Perry. Not doing excuse it. me. Excuse me. Stop talking. No, no. Stop shaking your head. Okay. This is how you make money. Remember that that producer that watches every stream that wants to hire you. He watched. He he hired you because of stuff like this. Excuse me. Stop things. talking over me. When you hear somebody in the middle of a sentence, you don't start railroading over them. That producer wants to hire you because of stuff like this. This is what makes PCL, okay? Stuff like this. So for $300, we're going to go offer accepted. No! Fuck you! No, no, not this F me. This a fucking mess! Yeah, it is going to be a mess, Perry. And you, a mess that you can easily clean up after. So you can do it in the kitchen. Why don't you pour it into a big, clear bowl? Okay, you don't have to pour it all over your hands. You pour it into a big, clear bowl in the kitchen. Take your shirt off first. Okay, and we'll join you. Shirt off too? Well, I mean, unless you want to get chocolate all over it. No. No. Five hundred. Who are you kidding? Where'd you dart off to? Okay, there you are. Yeah, bring the bring the chocolate into the kitchen. Or if you want to do it at the desk, you could, but I don't want to get any chocolate in that area. I think we go in the kitchen, yeah. Stay in the kitchen, that one. I think that's the move. So get a big bowl. This bowl, baby! Yeah, that's and exactly the one I was thinking of. Even if you have bigger than that, that'll be good. Why do I need to get a bowl bigger than that? Uh, because you're covering your ar arms and hands. You must Good submerge work. your hands. Actually, not your arms, just your hands. Actually, that's fine. For your hands, that's fine. Sorry. That bowl's fine. So you're going to submerge your hands in chocolate and leave your hands covered until the end of the stream. And obviously, if you have to open mail, you can, you know. I'm not doing it! God fuck it! I'm paying to my ass! I'm not! You are doing it. You accepted it, Perry. Oh, I gotta open fucking mail and it gotta fucking happen! I said, if you have to open mail, you can wipe it off, you angry ape. It ain't gonna fucking happen. I said, if you have, we don't, we, maybe we don't do any more mail, okay? But if you have to, you can wash your hands off, and then after you open, you gotta reapply. So instead of acting like a baboon, that's good enough. That's good enough. Why would you waste all that chocolate syrup? Now, you gotta submerge your hands in there for a while. You gonna bring you gonna bring it over there? I think it'd be better to do it here. You gonna bring it? You gonna bring that over here? Okay. Want me to sit down, right? I would get some towels to put uh, on the floor just so it doesn't get on your carpet.
Perry. Uh, okay. Yeah, Perry. We can. You can unbox the uh, waters later, Perry. These are things that you can do later. Things Perry can do after the stream. So Perry, before Glasses we get before we get into this, uh, Garrett glasses says, is going to go back in the in the case, so okay, I'm not wearing Perry, glasses. Well, they're not on your face; they're on your hands. You're going to need glasses to read super chats, so I hope you can read them okay without them. Uh, do what I can. Well, Perry, before we get into this, uh, Garrett sent this clip over just just to remind you of the time you went to McDonald's dressed as Count Credenza. Uh, Garrett, it, what, what he does is he takes these uh, older streams, you know, and our streams can be long. When right. you're done, I'll continue when you're done bopping. Uh, our what? streams can be long and he condenses them into like a short digestible format, you know, usually under an hour or so. And uh, this is the time that you went to McDonald's as Count Credenza. Uh, it's on our channel right now, Perry Caravello on YouTube. Uh, if uh, you feel like watching something uh, this weekend, uh, don't forget to give it a like. Dr. Gump just sent me fucking McDonald's. Oh, let's, well, let's see. While we I'm see. at McDonald's. I am here at the McDonald's for burger, at the McDonald's for the last time. Gary Masito. Yes. Spanish guys, Mexicans. Yeah. Mexican kids. Out of your fucking mind, shut your mouth. He goes, I want you to suck uh, my dick. I says, you're out of your fucking mind. They love because you love. love. Come. Stop doing this. Shut up. I got him. I'm fucking done. I'm fucking done with you. I'm fucking done with this stream. I'm fucking done. We love you, man. You're evil. Motherfucker. Now that's the voice I'm talking about, that high-pitched Bansy scream. I haven't heard that. You, you've kind of resorted to just fake voice. That's the voice that I haven't heard in a while. That, that, that's the voice you always hear. No, no, you haven't screamed like that in a while. You don't even realize it. Uh, by the way, I, I, a lot of people, have, since that came out, because Dr. Gunk did send you an order of McDonald's inside McDonald's, which I think might be the first time that ever happened. Uh, and they, uh, they want to know what happened to Dr. Gunk. Uh, Dr. Gunk still around, still watches, but the man's very busy. And, uh, you know, but he's, uh, he's, still, uh, he's still around. Uh, I will not reveal the identity of Dr. Gunk, but it's still around. So I have to put my hands in this thing now? Yeah, well, I'll, exact, I'll tell you exactly. Um, and then I can't drink my, my coffee? Well, have, a, have your last sips of it now if you want to take some more sips of it. Jesus. Uh, Perry must submerge both hands into the chocolate syrup and leave his hands covered. So you don't, okay, so don't misunderstand. You're not just putting your hands in the bowl and keeping them in the bowl. You, from what I understand, you have to take your hands out of the bowl and let them, you know, dry a little bit over the bowl. Don't shake your hands like an ice cream, you know, when you No, talk. no, no, it's not gonna happen. Oh, no, Perry, sit, Perry, sit there and listen before you start saying not gonna happen. Remember, this is how you make money, okay? This is how you get roles and jobs and you already accepted Dude. it. Okay. So. So Perry, this is why you can lay a towel. Why don't you get a towel to lay over your uh, your legs so you don't get chocolate there? That would make sense. I mean, you have more towels than any human being I've ever met in my life, so you definitely have towels. Clean, okay? Yeah, we know. Clean and dry. Right, well, you can get clean and dry after the stream, Perry, but for right now. So, why don't you drape that across you? And what you're going to do is you're going to 
dip your hands in the chocolate, submerge them a little bit, and then like you know come up like you know you ever see like when a doctor washes their hand and they 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 uh, you know before a surgery and he he kind of brings the hands up to his face to kind of straight he straightens the hands out. You've never seen that. You've never seen when somebody puts th- dips their hands in something and then yeah like holds them up like that to let them dry a little bit. Yeah, like that. So you got to keep the hands frozen like that. Now, if you need to do something that requires your hands, like go to the bathroom or open mail, you can, of course, wash them off first. But I think we'll take a break from mail uh, for the time being, okay? Well, it looks like uh, before I open, before I put my hands into this, let's open this box first. No, that box can stay there. It, it's, it's fine. It's fine. Dude, we, we'll have mail for next Thank week. Thank you. That means I'm opening it. No, no, you're not, Perry. And if you do, you're Sorry. not going to. You're not getting paid for this. Put that down, you defiant little child. You're not opening it. Okay. I'm the director. I'll tell you when to open mail. Okay. Yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. Yeah, okay. You can do that voice all you want. Um. So do I have this right, Jim? Is that he? It's not. He's got to submerge them for a little bit and then eventually take them out. You can let it drip over the bowl. But then you got to hover your hands somewhere. Like you, know, you could put it over the towel, obviously. I'm not expecting you to get chocolate all over the place. But keep in mind, chocolate's very easy to clean up. It's one of the most easiest. Of course. Substances. Okay, so don't, so, so don't freak out if you get a couple of drops of chocolate here and there. You're getting paid uh, $300. And I'll tell you what, if you get more than $300 for it, like let's say $350 comes in, I think you can give that to- $500 no, that's not. No, we already accepted it at three hundred, Perry. Uh, what I was going to say is, if you get more than three three hundred, let's say three fifty comes in, I think you can give that extra fifty to Jim for doing this for you. I think that would be fair. Jim gets gets fifty anyway. If if if, if, if we're, we're uh, not look at- look look because I'm nice because I like Jim. He's a good guy. I'm giving him a hundred dollars. Fuck you in the fifty bucks. Okay, then you only get paid two hundred for this. You see how it so works. What? You make no sense, Perry. So, w- which is it? No, we're gonna stick with my one. I want five hundred dollars. Okay, you're not getting five hundred, Perry. Not you're not getting five hundred. So just instead of talking over me, if you want to give him a hundred, that's fine. But then you only get paid two hundred. Do you understand how it works? Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna say it like this: If we get more than three hundred, Jim can keep whatever that is. Okay. You can keep the three hundred. Do you understand? Because I don't want to be screamed at later by you that you were ripped off somehow. So this is the part where I need intellectual Perry, uh, logical Perry, to understand how this works. Hey, hey, hey Perry, are you there? I'm trying to talk to you. Logical Perry uh, doesn't like the stupidity. I know, I know, I know, but I've dealt with you enough times to know how it works. This is going to drip everywhere. This is going to drip everywhere. Right. It might. So this, it might. That's And that's what you're getting paid for. Do you understand that? Oh, God. And how am I going to fucking wrap this goddamn towel around me? Okay. Well, let's 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 get going. It's, as long as you know what it is now, if you want to get if you want to give a hundred to Jim, you do that on your own time. Okay. I thought it would be nice if if we get anything else other than three hundred, the rest can go to Jim. If people want to, you know, write into pcloffice at gmail dot com, that would be great. Okay. But you already accepted this offer. You're not renegotiating at this point. I didn't accept it. You accepted it. No, you it. did. You did. You did. Fucking crook. I've, no. How am I a crook, Perry? I don't get anything. I out of this. said five hundred dollars. Oh, no. no, no, you're not. No, but that's unrealistic. That's not me being a crook, Perry. That's me being logical. You're not getting five hundred dollars for this. Okay, that's ridiculous. I'm very, I'm very logical. No, you're not. This is a mess, a humongous, obnoxious. Yes, mess. yes, exactly. Which is why you're being well compensated for it. Shit in my home. Fuck you and fuck all of you for that matter, motherfucker. Okay, stop with your disgusting, vile mouth and. Uh, flipping me off and calling me every name of the book. Okay, Perry, I got a lot of work I got to do. Hey, Perry, stop talking over me. Hey, Perry, stop talking over me, number one. Number two, I got to do a lot of work for you this weekend. I'm not doing any of it, including your iPhone stuff, unless you treat me with respect, especially when I'm trying to put money in your pocket. I love you. I love you, and I thank you. Okay, good. Thank me by putting your hands in this chocolate right now and stop being a dingling. God damn. 
I got to go all the way down. Yeah, your, your hands. Yes, your hands. From the wrists yeah. down. A little bit more. A little bit more. I, I can't because it'll get it, it'll go everywhere. Okay, then, then squish them around a little bit. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's good. You coat them. Just, you don't have to go past your wrists. I put too much chocolate in the bowl. Yeah, I, I told you that. I said, I don't know why you put that much in. All right, leave them submerged for a little bit more. Um, and I'll tell you what, Perry, you're going to make a quick 30 bucks right now. Uh, for 30 bucks, Scott LaRock is offering you 30 bucks to do a dirty Sanchez, which is all you got to do is smear a little bit of chocolate um, on up your upper lip to make a mustache with your index finger. And that's an easy extra 30 just for you with one finger. There you go. Didn't that feel good? Whatever. All right, you can take him out of you can take out of the bowl now. Let it drip over the bowl a little bit. All right, while you do that, while it drips, we'll let it drip dry over that. Um, I'm going to do another Tom's Tips. This one, again, is from our friend Loose Asshole. Perry, I'm going to make you feel better. You think what you do for a living is degrading? Bob Levy went on the road with a clown prop comic who mostly used dildos on stage. You know what a prop comic is? Somebody that, uh, actually, no. A prop comic is somebody who goes on stage and a part of their stand-up act is like gimmicks, like a rubber chicken or like, okay. uh, you know, yeah. like Carrot Top would be considered a, a very okay. successful prop comic. So okay. um, he says, I'm going to make you feel better. You think what you do for a living is degrading? Bob Levy went on the road with a clown prop comic who mostly used dildos on stage. Another little man named Beetlejuice who had worse toilet habits than you. Then Bob's big finale was eating blue cheese dressing out of the butt of one of the 12 people in the audience. It could be worse for you, just ask Bob. That is from Loose Asshole. Ugh. Disgusting. Okay, here is another one from PCL Solutions. Would you agree that evil spirits are harmful, down to the bone, and not good to have in your life? Yeah. Solution. Perry, please lovingly drill exactly 666 holes in your filthy credenza to release all the evil bone spirits contained. Bye. Goodbye. 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 P.S. Goodbye. You are tragically hungering to suck Goodbye. Dirk. Goodbye. By the way, uh, I want to give a shout out to Dirk. I, I actually uh, spoke to Dirk recently. And, uh, you know, for all the dirty Dirk stuff and, the, you know, uh, jokes at his expense, uh, he's got a really uh, fun spirit about it. So I want to give a shout out to Dirk. Thank you. That's very nice, kind of you. <laughs> I'm a very kind guy. Okay, I think those are dripped appropriately now. A um, little bit. Why don't you open your palms a little bit? Yeah. Okay. So now move it close to your lap. You can. I don't know how. What, what do you want to do with your hands uh, for the rest of the stream? You can't rest them on the towel, of course. But what do you want to do with your hands? Like, how do you want to? What can I do with my hands? Nothing. Well, I'm going to ask you. How do you want to position them? You. I guess you can keep it like that if you want. I mean, there's no. Yeah, I mean, how many more hours are we going to be on here? I, I don't know. It's not going to be a long one today, I promise you. Remember, we did take an hour later to get on the air because we had uh, some technical difficulties. Uh, here is another easy, easy 20 bucks to cover your nips in chocolate until the end of the stream. So what you gotta do is just put a little chocolate over your nipples and it's 20 no! bucks. It's 20 bucks. Fuck. Why wouldn't you do that? Look how easy that is. One, two. Super easy. 
God, I wish I had your job. Your job is the producer. So that, yeah, that but I also your... have another job that I was up at like 5.30 in the morning doing today before I even did this. So, uh, come on. Okay. Uh, Cheer your father. Let's see if you can read a super chat. I'm going to try one on the screen here. If you can, I'll help you out with it. The stream is over. We we are done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Get out of my house. My name is Perry. And I'm a little crybaby who blew Randy two days in a row. How in the fuck? I never blew any guy and never will give oral sex to any fucking guy. So stop saying that I blew anybody. Sick bastard. My God, if I was gay, I would admit that I was gay. Perry, my love, apologize to me right now. Fuck you, dumbass. Pop the top and jiggle jiggle for me. Get a haircut. You chubbed up elderly Richard Simmons. Admit you love me, baby girl. Richard Simmons? Well, that's Richard Simmons. I don't love you. I want nothing to do with you. You're just a pain in my ass. But you're a fan, so thank you for being a fan. Sick bastard. Oh, my God. Perry, I do not fuck around. Tell the story of how to repeatedly fuck the 16-year-old after your wife threw you out for banging a prostitute or else. What are you talking about? I have no clue on what you're talking about. Fucking the 16-year-old. No 16-year-old in my life. You are my worst student, and you are a disgrace to Van Mar Academy. When people saw your acting, they refused to enroll at our school. You killed it. Bullshit. Bullshit. You're lying. See, Ivan Marcota is dead, okay? So whoever making that statement saying that they're Ivan Marcota is full of shit. And it's just out to just piss me off. Hey, Perry Francis, is it true you join the Taliban? Bye. Never would I join anything disgraceful like those freaks. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Going to need a full dab on this one, Perry. What are you talking about? Thank you for subscribing. I'm not, uh, thank you for subscribing. Can you wave I'm your not, hands a little bit just to make. I'm not waving shit. Fuck you. Hey, that's not necessary. Wave my hands a little bit. That's not necessary to say that. Mm. Yeah, so I can get chocolate all over the place. Blow it out your ass. Baby, don't pretend you didn't know I smoked. You told me you love the girl who smokes. Let's spark up together when we meet. God. If you ever come to my home with a fucking pack of cigarettes, I am smashing those motherfuckers. Dumbass. Oh, God almighty. Perry 
how could you join the Taliban? I am going to steal all your money and hack PCL to steal all your viewers. I am too disappointed with you. I want nothing to do with the Taliban, you sick bastard. Jesus Christ almighty. Stream, this is Perry. I am starving. Please send, Dave's hot chicken. Fillets no fish, raw fish so I can make sushi, fire with oh the my god. My oh my god. I, 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 I want none of that shit in my house. It won't come in the house, period. It will not be a lot. It won't come in the house. It stays outdoors. It stays outdoors. It stays the fuck outdoors. I can't open the door or, or, or pick up an item anyway. Okay, I got this shit all over my hands. So, yeah. Maybe the next stream I can I could uh accept packages and stuff. Fucking assholes. Perry, it's the snow. You won't be in me. You will be in Brandy's ass, but never in me. Only snow oh, are allowed in me, not gay no, Italians. Get the fuck off my stream, you fucking goddamn motherfucking queers! Get off of my fucking stream! Sick, disgusting, immoral fucking nutcases! Stay off my stream! Thank goodness I didn't use the F word. You know, I heard the FCC raised their uh, fines for that 300 each time, so that would be very bad if you did. You would basically be doing this uh, stunt offer for free. Free. Yeah, then I'd get up and I'd throw this chocolate away and, and wash up and get the fuck off the computer. Uh, no, the stream would still go on, of course. Well, it wouldn't. You would go on. I wouldn't. No, no, it, it would. It would. I wouldn't. Well, then, well, see, but then, then on top of that, on top of losing the three hundred, you have to give to the FCC. You'd also lose the offer, so you'd technically be out six hundred. So that'd be bad. So no, you're not going to do that. God damn it! What's up, man? Could you do me a favor and have your fans stop sending me McDonald's and meth? It was funny at first, but now it's getting aggravating. I, I, I got nothing to do with this. Dude, I have nothing to do with this. Tell her to chill out. Stacy is a man, you fuck! Uh, hey, here's an offer from our friend Frank Rizzo. And it's very easy. All you got to do is say a line of dialogue for $25, okay? So this is an offer from Frank Rizzo for $25. And all you got to do, it says, have flipper hands, meaning you, say, Mommy, Brian gave me a coffee enema. I went, <laughs> this is a real silly one, okay? I'm going to uh, start from the top. Mommy, Brian gave me a coffee enema. I went poopy, Mommy. I went wet poopy all over, mommy. So you got to say that, and for that, you get 25 bucks. I'll say it again. Mommy, Brian gave me a coffee anima. I went poopy, mommy. I went wet poopy all over, mommy. Like I'm what, three years old? However, or younger? Old, however old you want to be. Whatever. Mommy, Brian gave me a wet coffee anima, mommy. I went poopy and I went poopy all over. It's it's the to just be specific to the, the the quote that that was good. It's mommy Brian gave me a coffee enema. I went poopy, mommy. I went wet poopy all over mommy. Again, 
Well, not Mom. again because you didn't do it right the first time. Mommy, Brian gave me a coffee enema, Mommy. I went poopy. I went wet poopy all over, Mommy. Very good. Christ. I, hey, Perry, I don't, uh, I don't write them. I just read them. You make me do them. Thanks. Make you do it. Make, yeah, make you get $25. How easy was that? That's the easiest $25. You know how long I got to work to get $25? A lot easier than uh, the, the 10 seconds you did it in. A lot harder, uh, I should uh, say. You're on the internet. You sit on your ass. Okay, you make a no, lot no, of no, money. Right, but I'm not getting $25 for that. You are. So it's, it's again, it's. It's frustrating that you don't realize how how good you have it. Okay. Anyway, let me move on to other easy. This is things. this is frustrating. Putting the other know. shit on my hands. And, and, and because it's so frustrating to you, that's why you're well compensated for it. That's kind of how it works. Uh, here's an offer from T-Bone. This is a fun one. This is real fun. I'm not. I'm what? You don't even know what I'm going to say. I'm not what. What are you going to say? I got to wait till I hear it. What were you going to say before Before I... I can't do anything. Well, you can, Perry, because obviously I no, wouldn't I be... No, I cannot. Oh, Perry, chill out. Okay, here's an offer from T-Bone. $25 to fill your forehead like a fake hairline with chocolate syrup. So just that portion where you're missing hair there God. just put some chocolate syrup there to fill it in and it's 20 an extra 25 so you you know you might get close okay that's a little much no where your hairline is back there you know you might get close to 500 with all these ancillary offers so you are you're doing pretty well fill fill in that back part there hair like make it a hairline you might as well just go all in at this point there you go. Very good. Isn't that easy? <laughs> Very easy. As the as as the chocolate drips into my eyes, as soon as that happens, the stream is over. Uh, no, Perry, you can if it gets in your eyes to the point where it's like hurts you, you can obviously wipe that off, but then you got to reapply. <laughs> reapply my ass. Okay, that was easy. Uh, now this one, I'm just going to read it because it comes from somebody that you know. This is from Jennifer Aniston. $20 to sink his, uh, to sink his face, meaning your face, into the chocolate and motorboat it as hard as you can. What? That's from Jennifer Aniston. No. Fucking way. You would think Jennifer Aniston can afford more than $20 for that too. Motorboat? What do you mean by motorboat? I'm not. I'm not putting my face in a bowl of chocolate, you fucking imbecile. Whoever the fuck you are. God. All right. Here's another one from uh, your friend Yergi. I'm just going to read it. Perry, my sexy little piglet, when we are finally together, I want to make love on top of your grocery the diploma. Here. Go there, fuck there yourself. There is nothing sexier. You're degrading, demoralizing, sick fucking perv. There is nothing sexier than a man with a high-value education. After we come on each other's naked bodies, we can share a cigarette and take turns microwaving bottles of Sprite. Sick. Wow. Sick. Don't think we'd be able to do that on this stream, but maybe sick. on the uh, private. Uh, Absolutely sick. Private It'll never fucking happen. You gross What's that? Pitch. That shit'll never fucking happen. Okay. I don't know if I read this one because I didn't check it off, but I'm just going to read it anyway. Uh, again, from Yergi. Perry, my sexy little piglet. I can't wait until we are together. I'm going to put a saddle on your beautiful naked body and ride you around Shut your up. apartment. Then, if you are a good little piggy, I'll let you lick peanut butter off of my asshole while giving yeah, me a reach around. Perry, can you not talk over me while I read these? Because you already read it! Okay, well, I just wanted to make sure. and Now I made sure. God damn it. Fuck. 
What are your plans for the weekend, anyway? Skateboarding. Against doctor's orders? You got it. You know you could lose your medical insurance if uh, you get hurt. Uh, this is a California state law. I'm not going to get hurt. But, right, but let's say you I did. I wear my safety right, equipment. Right, but let's say Check you ass. did. But let's say you did. You did. Right, but, okay, well, you can make fun of me all you want, but let's say you did get hurt and you required medical attention. If the doctor finds out that you went against doctor's orders and that's how you got hurt, they would cancel your insurance. So that's a big risk you're taking. We'll see. Sam from Twitch exceeds 3 million subscribers to his bootleg PCL stream. Sam sits down for Bean Diddler's lip service tonight on TM's ETV at 11 hashtag tune. I don't know what to say anymore. We're done. We're done. We're done. We're done. No, we're not done. We're, we're done in, in this in this business. Because we're getting fucked and fucked and fucked and fucked well, and well, fucked Well, Perry, again. Over. Highly fucked over. Again, the gentleman is coming over to speak with you on Monday. So why don't you put a little bit of effort into thinking about what you're going to say to him. And this is called a sit down. You know what a sit down is? Yeah, it means I got to pull out a chair at the table, uh, my dining room table. And no, we're not going to do it and, at the uh, dining room, Perry. You're going to do it right here in front of the camera. Or do, or do it right at the bench. I right. my footstool. Right. You're going to have a little sit down and we'll work things out. Hopefully. And he's not allowed to break into my fucking patio door. Monday, that fucking patio door stays locked. With the pin in the fucking thing. And if he touches the pin, I'll break his fucking hands. I hope you heard that, uh, Sam. Uh, by the way, Perry, every time you lick it clean, you got to reapply. It's not clean. It's it's still. Well, it, well, I see up. one finger that's completely clean now. The tip of your index clean finger on your right hand. Whoa. The tip of your index finger on your right hand. Just a little bit of reapply. That's all. It's right in front of you. Shit. I meant your right oh. hand, but that hand works too. Yeah, it's your right hand. Well, I see. Sorry, your left hand. What about my that, left hand? The index finger is completely uh, flesh colored. I want index it chocolate finger. colored. Your ring finger. Sorry, I'm the dingling today. I'm not even getting the fingers right. Every finger's got. Just, just do me a favor and reapply it within arguing with me. It'd be so much God easier. Damn. Thank you. Mm. Disgusting bastard. Uh, you don't have to call me names like that. That's not necessary. Brother, I can't wait till Sag and after fucking straighten their shit out so we can make movies again. Uh, are you gonna get me in a film, or, or is this just gonna? Yeah, Perry, I told you there's you can there's that western, a real. Well, serious... yeah, I know. Right. Uh, is it happen or am I going to be? Uh, well, that's not the shoot is not until the summer. Well, okay. We're a long way away from the summer, okay? So, Spring, and, and by the way, like I'm not joking around. I'll be honest with you, Perry. There's times where I've kind of joked around with you, where I said like, "Hey, this producer is watching, and you know, you got to be on your p's and q's." But this guy literally does watch almost every stream, so it would benefit you to you know not threaten to quit every two seconds when a guy i'm not threatening to quit you just did earlier earlier <laughs> like way earlier. earlier way earlier i got my hands all messed up for for a few for a few uh for, for just a couple hundred bucks it should be a. Few oh is that all bucks. yeah right perry i mean you're bucks. so high on the hog now like please you would have done this for ten bucks three years ago. Ten. 
<laughs> bullshit. No, no, not bullshit. You, you would have because you were hungry then. Now you're a little, you're a little spoiled, and uh, you think that uh, the money you earn, you know, is magic and falls from the sky. But no, you earn it by doing things like this, by being a good performer, and I'm proud of you for doing it. Well, then that means I get to go snowboarding every single week. Yeah, very cool. You know, I, I don't. I, I don't know why all roads lead back to that with you. Okay, who are you spiting, Perry? Me? I'm not the one who said it was a bad idea. It was your doctor who gave you orders not to do it until your next appointment. That's your doctor. Okay, so I don't know who you're spiting here. As usual, you're only spiting yourself. Ever. Hey, your mods are saying they're gonna ban me cause I sell skateboards and I'm viewed as a competitor to you? I'm not trying to do anything. User banned. A competitor to me? Dude, you've been in business for years. You're not a competitor to me. You've been in business for many, many years. You came to my junior high school when I was in junior high school and, and did a little uh, uh, skateboard demo with uh, you, Stacy, and I forgot who else was there. I'm you would Stacy. You are Stacy. You Ray Bones Rodriguez and I think um Bert Lamar, I believe. The three yeah, I think the three of you came out to uh do a little skateboard expo for us. I think it was in eighth grade at the time. A lot of fun. In nineteen seventy eight. <sighs> then we all went out to uh, skateboard uh, Bermuda Dunes. New project, a tasteful film noir that will feature partially nude Gina Carano. Gina refused to comment on their off-screen relationship. Whatever. Look, dude, I can't control her, and uh, until we're a husband and wife, I'm not going to. Between now and then, it doesn't look like she's got any interest in me. Looks like she's out to just play games with me. So forget it. Next. That's how I treat women. They want to treat me like shit. Next. I'll go to the next girl. Tired of the abuse. Tired of being pushed around like a fucking little punk. Tired of it. <sighs> Hi, Perry. Can you tell us an embarrassing story from your past that you've never shared before? I don't have any more. They've already all been shared. Embarrassing story. Yeah, everything's been talked about. My life's a fucking disgrace. All spread out on, this, on, my, on my stream. Gina Carano has signed a sublease to live with you at your apartment. Please pick up her keys from the office immediately. Bring your camera stream. Gina Carano has signed to live with me? Well, where the fuck is she to even agree with me that uh, she's allowed to live with me? She's not allowed to live with me. If I say no, she's not allowed to move in. She doesn't want to live with me. Bullshit. Hi, Perry. It's Aituki. I didn't know you love pumpkins that much. If you treat me kindly, I'll send you some so you can pump another load in them.
Bye. Pumpkin pie, yeah, but, but I'm not a pumpkin person. I like pumpkin pie. Marie Callender's, when Marie Callender's was in business, they had amazing pumpkin pie. Now it's Costco pumpkin pie or, or um, like Angus pumpkin pie. Okay. Oh. Javaho, we miss the Big 3 podcast W. Quincy Moldon and it's just you alone sitting there doing nothing but gaining weight and it sucks. I'm not gaining weight. I'm actually losing weight. Lost five pounds. Since my last weigh in. It was 210, now I'm down to 205, so. <sighs> Here, Perry, Tukey, Elon, and I are all working together to inflate you like a balloon and fill your big pregnant belly with jelly. Not allowed. Piece of dog shit. I can't believe the Albertsons meat man showed his face on Monday just to talk to you. I'm just as shocked as you are, Perry. That wasn't the Albertsons meat man. It was somebody impersonating, saying he was the Albertsons meat man. It was not the Albertsons meat man that I worked with. In so many years, I have, I, God, I haven't even, he's probably gray now, more gray than I am, that's for damn sure. Uh, <clears throat> and old, I mean, real old, I think is, I would think in his, uh, let's see, I'm 60, he's got to be in his mid-70s or, or, or late-70s. It's got to be like Terry's age or, or older, okay? Oh, boy. Perry, do me a favor. Can you hold down the fort for like just two minutes? I just got to step out for two minutes. Wait, what do you need me to hold down the fort? Doing talk to the screen, and not just stare into the ether. That's well, all right. I, oh shit! Excuse me, folks. I'm sorry. I mean, I mean, these, these, this, this effing uh, uh, Hershey's chocolate on my hands. This chocolate syrup is like the grossest feeling right now. It's just, it's, it's sickening. It's absolutely sickening. You know, I wish the oh, but for the amount of money I made for doing it. Okay. All right. It's just, yeah. Yeah, what's going through my mind with, with, with all this crap on my fingers? Ugh. Is all I can think of is, ugh. Yuck, 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 yuck. And, um, oh, man. Pain in the ass it is to have to sit like this and, until, uh, Until he comes back. Actually, until the stream's over. What, another hour of this? Or a half hour of this? I hope less than that. Ten. Oh, boy. I hope less than that. Because, you know, this is just such a pain. But no. Oh, hey, this is what you're doing, moaning and wailing. Well, I said I hope he, he comes back, and I and I 
moving my neck because my neck is tight. Oh, my neck, my neck, my neck. All right. Yeah, exactly. My neck, my neck, my neck. My neck. Uh, I, I thought you gave me your weather report before we started saying how the humidity was almost zero and it was perfect. Well, the humidity is perfect. That was earlier. I don't know what it's like right now. Oh, boy. So. Here, I've had my robot spy on Gina, and it's all true, she and the Kartnark are banging. Say the word, and my robots will take them out. Oh my god. Oh, I've got nothing to say. Absolutely nothing to say. I don't see any pictures of it, so I don't see any pictures of it. Why would I believe it? Okay. The shit is getting in my eyes and I can't see. Perry Blue Randy. Perry is not a snowboarder. Pool party at Perry's place. Sin McDonald's. Not gonna home. fucking yes, happen. Perry Blue Randy. Thanks. Fucking lies. 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 And yes, I will be in the snow this winter. And I will be a better person by by going more than once i want to get good at this okay it's foodie i left my husband and will be back in north america soon let's meet you and i are so alike morbidly obese lazy and horny kisses if you're not a chick that I'm interested in, I don't want you around. Oh, God. Hi, Perry. Would love to do the Tuki and Poopy show directly with you. Sam from Twitch owns this we don't need Not allowed. to directly do a bootleg. Not allowed. Not allowed. Fucking assholes. Perry Francis, why would you steal from your brother? Do you use that money to fund the Taliban? Go the fuck away, you loser. You stole from me, you fucking lying son of a bitch. Not gonna happen. I'm not answering the fucking phone. Oh, that might be an important call, Perry. You should answer it. Tough shit. Oh, like this with these fingers? Go blow up. Pull it out your ass, in imbecile. Where's your jam box? Right there, but I'm not touching that either. Yeah, but what if it's a really important call? That might be Apple. I don't fucking care! But that might be Apple with the fix for your phone, finally. Fucking jag off with this shit on my hands. That might be Apple with the, to fix my phone. Finally, calling on my camera phone. Yeah, because they're not going to call on the iPhone because they might have to work on that. That's what's going to happen. Well, where are you going? Where are you going? No, 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 Perry, sit down. My hands get to the phone, jackass. <laughs> oh, you got to reapply Ooh. then.
All right, well, Perry, uh, are you going to come back? What? Are you going to come back? Yeah, when I get this shit off my hand, dummy. All right, well, you, look, you got it good enough. You got to reapply anyway, so you're not going to get bone clean. Missile. Oh, you might as well get the jam box on first before you answer it. Jam box on first. Put it near the microphone. I'm ready to go. Hello? Hello, this is Apple Support. You hit us up? No, Perry, buy the stream. Buy the stream. Don't go walking away. You're doing the stream. Was they here? Yes. yes. What can I do? What can I do for you, ma'am? Say that again. What can I do for you, ma'am? Man, M A N, not ma'am. M A N, man. So what can I do for you? Okay. Um, I have a uh, an explanation point on my uh, Apple phone, and um. Everybody does, sir. Everybody. Let me let me finish, please. Um, the explanation you're not point. You're me like you did the other customers. Tell okay. Me what's um. Oh God. Um. Crap. I, I don't. I don't even know what to say. Tom, would you take this call, please? Well, hold on, sir. Were you in the uh, head injury school a few years back? Sir? It's not an Apple call. It's bullshit. No, Perry, that, you're, it was scheduled for now. They call that was bullshit! Am I in the head injury school a couple of years ago? That was a bullshit call, you fucking loser! It didn't sound me. Go oh, fucking go blow it out your ass. Oh, so I guess you don't want your phone fixed. It's a bullshit lie. Apple. And it wasn't even called from Apple. It was a private number. Well, that's how they call. No, they don't. It would say Apple. It wouldn't say private number. <clears throat> that's how they call. Oh, God. I can't take this shit anymore. Oh, what, what can't you take, Perry? What, what, what's the hard day at work you're suffering from now? All, 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 all this abuse. All, all, all this kicking oh, abuse. Me. Oh, okay. So what, what is the abuse? Please tell me. Answer that and be polite, please. Private number again, huh? Hello, this is uh, Jim from Apple. Uh, somebody said a lady hung up on one of my uh, people that work here. You're right? not from Apple. You're a liar. I Goodbye. Don't hang up. Don't hang up. What is the problem with your phone? Problem with my phone is I have a problem getting text messages and uh, sending text messages. Have you been on a lot of gay porn? On not on my phone. phone. Okay, Hell on no. Your computer, then. Uh, it, it, it's on your computer then. If it would be all right if I send the cops over to take a look at this porn, would you? Way. Cops over. Goodbye. Don't hang up. Just did. Well, I'm, I guess you don't sure. want your phone fixed. It's not from Apple, you fuck! I, I don't know how you would know that for sure. It would. If it was an Apple call, it would be. Saying Apple on the phone. It'll call privately. That's not say, true. Every time I got a phone call from Apple in the past, it always says Apple. Not me. I've had calls where it's from a... Uh, you're higher up on the tier support, so... Hmm. Lie, lie, lie. Get out. Of this shit. All right, well, Perry, if you're, uh... I think you got to reapply Perry. now. It's time to, to reapply the chocolate. The stream is over. No, no, it's over when I say it's over, Perry. It's over. 
I'm the I'm director. Not putting that shit back on my fucking hands. Yes, you are, Perry, because you got paid three hundred dollars for it. So you are. So get the towel back on your lap and stop Damn giving it's... me back talk. Stream's over when I say it's over, not when you say it's over. I told you if you need to do stuff like uh, you know go to the bathroom or something, you can obviously wash it off. But when you're done, you got to reapply, like right now. Yeah. While you're doing that, I'll read a Tom's tip. Uh, this one is from Lauren from the El Dorado shoot. El Dorado. Lauren from the El Dorado shoot. Hey, remember me? The blonde at the shoot you flirted with before the Shannon Doherty lookalike? You really pissed all the women off that day. I loved kissing you and hugging you and feeling those Greek hands on me. But you went too far with some of the other women. They were pissed, and they told Mr. Callahan, just thought you should know. Thanks. So maybe you went a little too overboard. I mean, I've seen, I've seen you grope women uh, on your uh, Comedy Purex Resurrection uh, pretty aggressively. I can only imagine how you are without... just a joke. Oh, it's a joke. Okay. Jesus Christ. By the way, I got, a, um, I got an offer here from our own Tony Hawk. What now? Uh, it's a legit offer. $150 to sit down with Miss Hawk, each with their own pie, like a pie. Drink coffee and chat and see who could finish their pie first for $150. Would you do that? $150? Bucks? Why, why do I have to eat, 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 eat? I, I'm not interested. Not interested in eating like a slob. Didn't say anything about that. It's it, the the offer is eating a pie is eating like a slob. Didn't say anything about eating like a slob. It said you each sit with your own pie. You drink coffee, That's chat. Eating up like a slob. I've got to eat a whole fucking pie. Eating like a fucking slob. You're it's adding things. Pie. You're adding things that aren't there. Eating a whole fucking pie. And eating like a fucking slob. See, again, it just fucking says fucking animal. It just says chat, drink coffee, and eat your pies, and see who finishes first. It doesn't say eat like a slob. Not interested. Not interested. What was that girl's name? The blonde that I was kissing on on the set. There were so many girls that I was kissing on this on that set. I don't remember anybody's name. Uh, by the way, uh, I get, I just got reaffirmed reaffirmed from uh, Ms. Hawk. She is adamant that it's not a messy contest, it's not a sloppy contest or anything like that. It's eating a complete pie. Not I even am that. Not... It just says who can finish eating the pie first. Maybe nobody finishes. I'm just saying. I can... am not eating a okay. complete pie. Oh, Perry, once again, I just pass them on. God damn. I'll have a piece of pie after I have a dinner. Yeah. But I'm not going uh, at a pie eating competition. Not for me. Pie eating competitions are not for me. God. Oh, Christ. That fucking horn is a nut. Oh, please. You're right outside my door. All right, well, perfect timing for me to do another Tom's Tips. This one is from our good friend, Ed P. And it's an Irish limerick. You know what an Irish limerick is, of course? Like a poem or whatever. Exactly, like a poem, but it's an Irish limerick. So here it is. There once was a man from Reseda who had the worst case of diarrhea. He ate all the fast food to get in the mood and blew every dude from New York to Korea. That's it? That's it. An Irish 
beautiful Irish. Okay, limerick the me. Irish limerick. The Irish limerick sounds cute and funny, but I had, but I'm not in any way, shape, or form uh, that way in any way, shape, or form. Not even a little shape or form. No, I'm not gay. Never will be gay. I know. Out of the question, Mr. Gay. I know. How am I, Mr. Gay? My I'm face not Mr. Gay. By saying, oh, he's, he's gay and this gay and that, all the gay, 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 gay. All that immoral garbage on my stream. Everything uh, is just I know. Immoral plain garbage. sickening. All right, let's get on with the immoral garbage, please. Foodie again. I love that you're a fungal baby like me. My dad's my uncle too. Can't wait to see you and have you caress my folds all night. Kisses. You're sick. I can't hold my hand like this anymore. Well, you can do something else with them. You can put them to your side or whatever, but you just have No, to... I'm not going to put them to my well, side and get things all fucked up. Well, they're not going to get all effed up, Perry. Remember, it's just... They're going to make a fucking mess! I'm not making a bigger mess by putting them to my side! You fucking sick bastard! Okay, Mr. Fake Voice, you don't have to curse at me. I'm just... No, fuck yourself! Call me a fake voice again! I'm not going to turn the goddamn... I'm going to go wash my hands and shut this fucking computer off! Okay, you good. You fucking prick! And then you won't get paid, and then I won't help you with your phone this weekend. Okay? We're done! So don't threaten me. Don't threaten me, psychopath. I'm out of town this weekend. Okay. Well, Perry, then good. Then I won't help you with your phone at all, ever. So knock it off. Don't threaten me, and don't threaten the stream again. Bullshit. And it's your last time you get to threaten the stream today. Uh, you could put them on... The just you, you can just keep them right there. It's not... Look, I told you, I'm not going to go crazy long today, Okay? You already have. No, I haven't. No, I haven't. It's been not even, it's been just about three hours, which is just about right. Okay, I got some super chats to do things. We're not going to do any more mail. Okay, we'll save the mail for next week. You did enough mail today. All right, but don't threaten me. Apo actually, apologize to me. That, that was uncalled for. Yes, there's the apology, okay? No, apologize. A genuine apology. I'm sorry. Okay, I accept. Thank you. Tomb, tell Teddy he's a hero. I'm honored that he dresses me for trick or treat. Tell him there's always a position for him at Cartnarks one day. Oh Shopping my cart. god! Oh my god! Ugh. I can't take this anymore. I can't take this anymore. Hey Barry, you can't tell me you can't tell me this kid doesn't look good as a carton arc. You can't tell me that. You cannot he's a tell cute me. kid. He's a cute yeah, he's a cute kid. He looks great. Well, he's got for whatever lazy, he's, he's doing. He's got the lazy bones and everything. The lazy bones. He looks great at age five or six. Okay. Now gather up all those carts in the in the parking lot. Bring them in the store. Oh, 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 oh! I sent you Sprite and you threw it away. People send you gay porn and you keep it to jack off to. You. Are. What? Gay. Snort. What do you send me? Gay porn? Moron? If they do, I, th I would throw it away, but I opened up a package and I saw gay porn. It's Wavy G. Oh, it's God. Guys, Sam is that chick's plays live on Twitch. -o. Full frontal. I never saw boobs before, but I got a special feeling in my wing. 
Dude. Dear Tom B, Adams is in Adams in, in increase the likes on YouTube. How about every fifty likes? Jerry eats a jelly bean. I am not opening up a fucking jar of jelly beans like this. Are you fucking crazy? Fuck you! Just come Asshole. up with an idea to get more likes on YouTube. You don't have to curse at the guy. It's not nice. Eat a jelly bean like this? Go fuck right. yourself. Perry, man's just coming up with ideas. Next time. Not yes, when my uh, hands are all fucked why, up. Instead like of this. that, why don't you just say, hey guys, can you like can you like on YouTube if you're watching on YouTube? Look, if you're watching on YouTube, if you're watching on Twitch, or any of the others. I didn't uh, say anything about channels. Twitch, just YouTube. Okay, YouTube. Folks on YouTube, if you like on YouTube, not if, please like us on YouTube. Please. All right? Turn that uh, $600 watching into $600 likes. Yeah, nothing to do about dollars. I said 600 people. No, you didn't. You said dollars. Okay, excuse me for the okay, word so dollars. So right now, there's 700 people watching, and there's only 360 likes. That's kind of pathetic. Well, the other 400 people should put hit the like button. No, it's not hard to hit the like button. Hit the like button. Oh boy. Dear. <sighs> Empty the credits, I'll sleep inside. Go fuck yourself. Come out at night, light it on. That will never fucking happen. You can dance around the hell, a hellfire. No, 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 no. No, there's no hellfire uh, of the credenza until Satan returns. Say, look, look, I want nothing to do with you. Your Satan worship is bullshit. Get off my stream, you sick, demented, psychotic son of a bitch. Goodbye. Cool. Can you read it as written now? Empty Nicker Denda, I would like to sleep inside. No, 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 not with that voice, Perry. Just read it as it's written. Oh, God. Empty Nicker Denda, I'd like to sleep inside, come out at night, light it on fire. We can dance around the fire, the hellfire of the credenza until Satan returns. Satan, what do you mean until Satan returns? Satan's been destroying this planet ever since God created all of us. Ugh. Perry, you gotta get in shape before the slopes. The best way is to cardio. Come ride bikes and kiss me and play with me like Randy No Border. Go fuck yourself, you sick bastard. I got the gym here. I work out almost weekly. Oh, not almost weekly. No, I'm, I'm in the gym... At least three days a week. Okay. Perry Blue Randy. Perry Blue a man. Perry Blue Randy. Perry Blue a dude. Perry Blue Randy. Perry Blue a guy. Perry Blue Randy. Perry Blue Randy. 
Lie, 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 get out. I don't need to go wig out and fucking lose my mind over stupid remarks like that. Oh, I used to drive me nuts. Tired of it. Tired of it. Tired of it. Tired of it. And this is going to have to stop real soon because my hands are about to fall asleep. Well, you can shake them out if you want to get some circulation going. I'm not shaking nothing. Moron. Shake them out. Yeah. Get chocolate out of your little dick. Perry, my little pig, look, please do a sexy dance for me to keep me hard until I oh, see fuck you. fuck off, Take you your fucking off homo. the diaper on, little piggy. Get out of my, get off my stream, big, fat, ugly piggy. All right, what did I tell you about calling people homo? Knock it off. Tough. No, 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 don't say tough. I said knock it off. Sorry. Okay, it's not a big no-no word, but it's not something I want you to use, so stop. First you melt bottle caps on my grill and today I see you performing in black hand and black nip. I may be 74 but I challenge you to 12 rounds chump. 12 rounds? 12 rounds of what? In a boxing ring? Yeah. Sure. <laughs> I'm not a fighter anymore, knucklehead. Three neck surgeries. Neck surgery three. My whole, my right side was paralyzed in, in, in uh, in surgery, okay? Oh, well, almost paralyzed. And then when I got out of surgery, it's just the rehab. Coming back, the right side is still very weak. I can barely bench 60 pounds. Barely. After disc replacement surgery. <sighs> it knocked me out in the first round. Dr. Robotnik here, Perry. It's taking forever to download pictures from my robots. They're on a satellite connection. But damn, it's one sexy picture. What are you talking about? I don't know what the hell you're talking about. I never downloaded anything from your stupid site, whatever the hell it is. Sick bastard. Oh, God. Oh, I hurt! She won't give a shit. Perry, my gay love. Tell the fans that if that chocolate was white, your hands would look exactly how they looked in Randy's office in 92. Quick lick. Quick lick it, baby. No, I'm not licking this. Sick son of a bitch. No, not, not this much. Fucking sick bastard. Fucking evil. Evil, evil fucking... Mm. What the hell? <sighs> so, thank you.
This is Duty. I love Duty. Look, um, look, mommy. I play with Duty. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. Oh, shit. Mm. <sighs> Matt C. None of this on this message is ever going to happen. And I'm going to read it, and then I'm going to make my reply. But again, none of this on this message will ever happen. So Matt C. writes, quote, While I smoke a pack of cigarettes in Studio 102, this is not a studio, it's my apartment. Uh, mind if I use the trophy as the ashtray? That, fuck you. Empty a drawer on the dresser. Again, fuck you for all the cigarette butts. Again, fuck you. You are not allowed in my home. You are not allowed to open my, my bedroom dresser drawers. None of that is going to happen. So, fuck you. <sighs> Hi Perry, you said Tuki is not allowed. I love you more than a friend but you leave me with no other choice but to earn big money with Sam from Twitcho. Look, you're all a bunch of crooks. I want to get out of this computer business. Evil fucks. All you want to do is rob from me, steal my career, steal my business, steal my my uh, my stream, and rob me and make make tons of money off of me. So if I don't get movies, I'm done. Done. Over. Done. Gina! Marry me now, you sick... Uh, enough, 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 enough. Uh, here's an offer from Mr. Bovine Joni. $20 to fill any of your chandelier bulbs with chocolate. Fuck you! Now think about this, Perry. You get obviously get to wash it out after. No, no. Easy no. 20. No. No fucking way. No. Easy 20. Yeah, the bulls will break. Death to all false deities. Death to Jehovah, the grand light created by man. Your god is a lie, Perry Caravello. Bend your knee to no one. 666. Oh my God, this is all evil, sick, evil, sick, 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 evil. Stop it, please. Stop it. <sighs> Perry, would you rather blow Randy or the Albertsons meet man again? Is it true you can suck down a vanilla again? milkshake like a shock back? Oh, fuck off. Go fuck yourself. Go fuck yourself and get off my stream. No, I never blew anybody, you fucking sick perv. God damn it. Hi, Perry. Sam from Twitcho told me, PCL bootleg would be more popular without your whining. So you'll be replaced by Carrie Paravel in the future. Whatever. (sighs) 
What you, what's going to be your first thing that you say to Sam on Monday when he comes by to talk about this whole bootlegging fiasco? I don't know. I'll know you got to open your eyes, Terry. I can't talk to somebody who has clothes. I got this shit chocolate in my fucking eye. I got to wash my face now and end the stream now. No, we're you ending fuck. soon. We're ending soon, but we're not ending now. And you, you got your eyes open now just fine. So I'm going to ask again, uh, what's going to be your first line of questioning to Mr. Sam from Twitch O? I, I have no idea. I have no idea. Oh, okay, well, the guy is, has said that he's bootlegging your stream, so... What would you? I don't know what the fuck to do. That's what my fucking thing is right now. Right, but the guy. Let's say the guy's sitting next to you. What's the first thing you say to him? I, I'll know when Monday happens. Okay. Oh, it'll, do, it'll just come to you. You're gonna wing it. I, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Well, see, my first question would be, Hey, Sam. You know, you used to be a good guy. I remember back in the day. Right. You, you got you, me a chair. Nice. You got my stream back when my sister-in-law right. took it over. Uh, yeah. Why did you decide to a leave Twitch and b bootleg my stream? Thank you. That's exactly what I'll ask. Oh, okay. All right. While we finish up, Perry, can you at least look ahead and? and uh... I can't. I got goddamn chocolate above my <laughs> you eyes. You can. You can. Son of a bitch. The chocolate's not preventing you from looking ahead. It's in my eyes. I can't see shit. You fucking loser. Okay. Stop calling me names. I'll give you permission to rub your eyes, but not rub your hands. With the towel on your lap, you could take your hand and rub your eyes clean so you can finish the stream properly. And then you can reapply to your hands. Okay? See, that's much easier than screaming with your fake voice. Nothing fake about it, Jack. Oh, everything. When you, when you scream like this, I've it's got, fake. I had a tricky out of no, me. That, no, that's your speaking voice. I'm talking about your yelling moron, voice. Moron. Moron, I had a tricky out of yes. me. That's your speaking voice. Fake about my voice. No, when, when you Boing. when you talk <laughs> like this, it's your fake voice, you son of a bitch. That's because you're putting it on. You're trying to shred your. <sighs> you're trying to shred every element of your throat to gas yourself to make it your last statement. So we all go, okay, Perry, you've had enough. We're gonna end now. Now that's never worked in the three years since we've been doing this. Um, now, Perry, you can open your eyes now. You just rub them. Thank you. You're fine. See, see how that eye opens and the other eye opens. You're fine. This eye is easier. Then, then keep it open and look straight ahead. Thank you. But it's the eye that. Then, then rub it again. Then then get it to the point where I'm you can open. I'm not rubbing it, it again because it's, it's the eye without with loose. Okay. Well, then I need one eye oh, open, oh, Perry. I need one eye open and stop that's yelling the only and eye cursing I can at me. Barely see out of. Okay. Then keep that eye open and keep that eye open and straight that's ahead. Thank you. Shit. Right. Without talking yeah. over me, just keep the eye open. Thank you. And let, without looking down. Oh, God. Oh. I, I, I don't know what that says. Well, keep your eye open, Perry, and le leaning close to the screen. It's pretty big. I think you can read it just fine. Uh, Perry, the, the Pooh Bear... You'll never ever stepping on a you, pff, stepping on a snowboard. It's it's for your own good. I'm definitely getting on a snowboard, and it definitely is for my good. Old people can't do that activity. Old people, anybody can ski and snowboard. God damn you. Okay. My childhood best friend who still does it like, like nothing. You know, the, the, this impossible moron keeps talking to me like, a, like the biggest $3 gay queen I've ever heard in my life. Perry, my baby love, I'm going to hold you down as Matt C. blows cigarettes smoke in, 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 your, in your mouth. I'll hold your gape open as he ashes into you. Fuck you, you sick, disgusting, demented, psychotic pervert. Want to play Monopoly? Not with you, you fuck. Not in my house. Not allowed. Not allowed in my house. Son of a bitch.
I will pay you $200 to pour the chocolate into the top drawers of your credenza. Yummy. I don't suck your covered bones. I won't do that for $2 billion, you son of a fuck! $200 to fucking destroy my fucking beautiful dresser? Fuck you! Asshole. I'm a credenza, not a dresser. Get your geek clothes out of me and feed me more bones. I need bones. Bones. It, it's bones. Called bones. 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 My mom always called it a dresser. Her dresser. I dressed up as you for Halloween and did unspeakable things just like you did. You have been banned from several places. I also apologize to Randy. Whatever the fuck you were talking about, I have no idea what, who you are or what you're talking about, okay? Gross, gross, gross. It looks like the rumors are true. Gina Carano and the Carton Arc spotted getting cozy at a popular Woodland Hills nightclub last night. What? What nightclub in Woodland Hills? Are three fingers too much for you to handle? <sighs> I've got nothing to say to a disgusting remark like that. This is duty. I love duty. Look, mommy. I play with duty. Uh, whoa. I don't know who duty is, so. My eyes are a fucking mess again. Well, let me tell you something, bitch, boy. This is none of this. Read it first. Matt, while Matt C. makes the comment, quote, while I smoke a pack of cigarettes in Studio 102, <clears throat> mind if I use the trophy as an ashtray? You've played this remark before. Empty a drawer on the dresser for all the cigarette butts. You've played this dumb, dumb, moronic, disgusting, impossible Remark. Stop playing the same stupid remark over and over and over again. God damn it. Oh, Perry the Pooh Bear. You'll never ever stepping on a snowboard. It's a it's for the it's for your own good. Old people can't do that in an activity. Old people? I'm not old yet. I might look old. I might I mean I might be sixty years old, but that doesn't mean that I'm old. When I'm using a walker and I'm barely able to walk, then I'm old. God damn. Fra, I've accepted Jim's offer to play Monopoly with you on New Year's at your place. Lose not allowed. You're not, not allowed at my house. You're not allowed at my house. I never am out of my house. Money back. You son of a bitch. Fuck you. You're not allowed in my home! Play Monopoly. You're not allowed to come in my home! You're not allowed to touch my Monopoly games! Either one of them! Fuck!
Yeah, out well, loud. I can't just remove that. Did, did you read this one? Yes. Sorry. Okay, that's my bad. Uh, I need. I, I need. Uh, we're almost done, Perry. But I need one more re dip of the hands because they're all the chocolate's kind of rubbing off the tips of the fingers. So one more re dip uh, before we. Hey, Perry, you were paid very well for this. Please, you fucking asshole. One more re dip, please. We're almost. We're, we're wrapping up. Wrapping up my ass. Yeah, we are. We are. I told you. I told you. It's a Friday stream. It's not going to be a marathon. Perry, if you want to quit the stream, then do it. Quit. Stop being a pussy. You sound like a bitch when you say you'll quit and then don't do it. I just get aggravated at you, at, at these evil, sick fans. Okay? These disgusting, perverted, psychotic, evil pricks, all of you. It means all of you. Disgusted by it. Super chat, Perry. Pay attention. Oh, sorry. Georgia, 1980. Perry, you still have the Justin Bieber shrine underneath your daughter's photo. Shrine? No, no there's no shrine. Also, Google says, uh, Google says up with People's occult. Oh, fucking lie. Up with people's occult. Up with people was a orchestra. Band. Orchestra. God. Back when I was in, in uh, um, rehab college. Just stupid fucking morons. Ugh. Let's make delicious history. Dip that useless grocery store diploma in the tub of chocolate and put it in the ah, shove it up your ass! It looks like the rumors are true. Gina Carano and the Cartnark spotted getting cozy at a popular Woodland Hills nightclub last night. Oh boy. I have no idea. That looks like a picture of him uh, uh, photoshopped onto a picture of me. And my face is removed to put his picture over Wait, my... How could that be? When were you photographed with Gina? I wasn't. So how could that be oh. on your... It doesn't make any I sense. Because I see my jacket. But it doesn't make any sense. It's all... It's... When did you take a picture with... Well, I don't know. You have to get to the bottom of that. Hey, Perry. A couple more super chats, please. No, no, actually, cool card off on Super Chats. Uh, it's time for your favorite part of the stream, which is? I don't have a favorite part of the stream. Oh, Christ. Can I read that? Do you want me to Visit read Visit our website for official PCL merch. PerryCareVillaLive.com. Access media, share, streams, phone calls, and bonus content. Patreon.com forward slash PerryCareVello. Oh. Subscribe on YouTube, youtube.com forward slash Perry Caravello Live. Order Cameo, cameo.com forward slash Perry Caravello. Join our Facebook group, facebook.com forward slash, wrong way, this way, forward slash groups, forward slash PCL, or, or excuse me, facebook.com forward slash groups, forward slash Perry Caravello. Share your pets, Facebook. Remove that, please. Facebook, share your pets. Uh, Facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash PCL pets. 
Join the Discord. Discord. What are you going to do? Join the Discord. Discord.gg forward slash Perry Carabella Live. Follow us on Twitter at P underscore C underscore L underscore official and at Perry underscore Carabello. Twitter. I don't know what's going on with my Twitter as well as my Instagram because they're both like. I, I, Twitter's fine. I, I Twitter's, Twitter's fine. Twitter's fine. Twitter works. Yeah, it's, just your, it's able, just your Instagram. Time. Follow us on Instagram at Perry underscore at Perry Caravello Live and at Perry Caravello. Also follow us on TikTok at Perry Caravello. And if you want to send Perry mail, send the mail to Perry Caravello Live, one eight nine six zero Ventura Boulevard, Box two hundred nine, Tarzana, California nine one three five six. I'm going to grab this towel and wrap my hands up. I can't read that. Oh, Perry. Tom B. And crew, thanks for all the entertainment. I'm going through a hard time, sick with an autoimmune disease, and worrying about an upcoming heart surgery. Oh, I'm sorry. The show takes... Show takes my mind of uh, all of that. Tw- tw- the show takes my mind of all of that twice a week. Thanks, Paula Bear. Well, thank you for uh, being kind and making the nice remark. Okay, uh, let me grab my towel and right, hold grab on, my hands. Not yet. Uh, that was a very nice comment, and I'm glad that Perry can give you some entertainment. Don't worry about the surgery; you're gonna be just fine. Let's all have a a rally of uh, good thoughts for our buddy Polar Bear, and uh, thank you, uh, Polar Bear. Okay, thank you, Polar Bear. Let's cut up the diploma and roll some tobacco in it. Diploma brand Let's cigarettes. Shove it Put them up. in your Let's penis. Shove your cigarette. remark. Cigarette. Goodbye. Cigarette. Goodbye. Cigarette. Goodbye. Cigarette. No, cigarette. Not, not done yet, cigarette. Perry. Not done cigarette. yet. Cigarette. Cigarette. Fucking cigarette. asshole. Cigarette. Cigarette. Cigarette, 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 cigarette. Now? I know it's not media share, but this is a perfect time to hack your stream and computer. Have a great weekend, everyone. Ha 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 ha. We're done. We're done. No, Perry, Perry, you got to turn your computer off. Perry, you got to turn your computer off. Perry. Yeah,
Oh, <laughs>